hashtag gremlins defeated. Uh, not enough to level up, I'm sorry. Um, though you're getting really close, so mentally prepare yourself. Welcome to Dreams of Dragons. Um, I will begin by thanking all of our amazing sponsors before we get into meeting our wonderful cast of characters. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to start with the usual favorite sponsor ever, Tabletop Loot. And they're my favorite because I have a severe dice buying problem. Namely, I don't have enough money and I don't have enough dice. The salary comes in, I go to Tabletop Loot and I buy more dice because they're amazing. <laughs> they also have some other stuff. Best part is if you use their code WTTB Dice, you get 15% off your next purchase, which is good because then you get more dice for the same amount of money. We also have so Nerdware, where Matty and his amazing merch shop uh, provide welcome to the party merch. Uh, we're all horrendously underdressed, apart from Lana, who is overdressed. Uh, so we can't show you any of the merch. I'm, s I'm sorry, Angela, it's not, it's not merch. Uh, but if you want merch, you can use the code WELCOME at your checkout to get 10% off your next purchase. Uh, we're using Roll20, which is treating some of my uh, fellow players uh, kindly, some not so kindly. Uh, we're rolling dice, I'm showing them maps where we have handouts, there's music. It's just something you can use to play games online with your friends until you can actually go near them again. If ever. Right, that was depressing. We also have Devon Rue. Uh, who is amazing cartographer, did maps for Critical Role, burns them into wood, burns them onto leather, makes dice bags, all around awesome. So do check her out as well. If you want to give us extra money, which of course we appreciate because we're trying to keep a stream running for LGBTQ people, for BIMPOC people, for everyone. It's called Welcome to the Party for a reason. We have a Patreon you can join and you can support the channel. Um, and we will love you even more than we already do. You'd you think it wasn't possible, but we can. And then if you just want to hang out with us, also fun, we have a Discord channel where I've been posting some maps, uh, some notable quotes, um, and perhaps in the future, some shipping discussions and our artwork who knows if, it, if they get steamy enough we may need an after dark channel <laughs> then again they're teenagers maybe we don't <laughs> let's go around and meet everyone i'm gonna go in order of my zoom screen because that's easier for me ines who are you and who are you playing hi i'm ines uh today and for the rest of this streaming adventure i will be playing lily two forest your technical type uh hunter um and mom archetype <laughs> i guess <laughs> yes all right thank you very much alex hi there i'm alex and i am playing juniper she is a winter magic merchant excellent lana and all her hatty goodness my name is Lana. I will be playing Fern, who crochets and hits people with an oversized crochet hook. Uh, although she hasn't had the opportunity yet, so we'll see. This is Clover, my pet uh, baby uh, goat, and this is my giant sun hat, which is ugly, by the way, because otherwise I couldn't afford it in-game. <laughs> it's mainly, yeah, well... No, it's not you know, ugly, it's non-cute. It's, it's not cute. It's not as bad as the mountaineering crocs. No, which those are officially... Mechanically uncool. Ugly. Yeah. yeah. You know, maybe at some point you'll make some money, you can buy something cuter. Yeah. Angela. I had to take a moment to recover from the collective groaning at the mention of mountaineering crocs. <laughs> I will <laughs> never let her forget them. I will never let her forget hello them. There we, hello there, everybody. I'm Angela. I am going to be playing the very sweet, old, probably gayish of some variety. That's usually my shtick when I play games. Uh, I believe it was just Spring Magic Healer, Anna. Excellent. I like the, the ish, ish in gayish. <laughs> Michael. I am Michael, and I'm playing our brash young Wade in San Clemente the Third, our noble attack type, uh, who is experiencing all of this for the very first time in his life. <laughs> all right. 
Uh, you are also the group's journal keeper. I am. Would you like to give a brief summary of what Raiden wrote in his journal after last time? Yes, so for those who missed the previous session, here's our latest entry in our uh, travel journal. Uh, I'm so excited <clears throat> for this. <laughs> Let me move it over so I can look at the camera while I still read. Okay. Our first day on the road, and we've already encountered a dragon. A small grassland dragon was in the grass, and Hana noticed them and pointed them out. Lily and I cautiously approached in the hopes of making friends, but it seemed the dragon was a bit annoyed by our intrusion. We left a small food offering and decided to leave it alone for the time being. We found a small rocky outcropping to set up camp and tucked in for a great night's sleep. In the morning, Juniper woke us all with a start to the realization that we were now situated high in the air on the leaf of a giant plant. Far below, rolling around in the grass, was the little grassland dragon we had crossed the day before. I remember reading about grassland dragons and learning that they are secretive creatures with a penchant for tricks and pranks. Apparently, unhappy with us picking raspberries the day before, the dragon took much delight in watching us struggle to climb down the giant plant. Lily and I made our way down first, with hopes of making a deal with the small dragon to return the plant to a normal size. Lily had the idea of offering a very important secret, and though I don't know what it is she told the dragon, it apparently worked. The plant began to shrink, and we all dashed to help catch our friends as they stumbled and fell, all except Hana, who made her way down with surprising grace, looking like she was feeling much better than the day before. After all the commotion settled down and we enjoyed a delicious breakfast, Hana and Lily left to look for herbs while I helped Juniper get the cart ready for another day of an already very exciting journey. And then I also believe mechanically we did do travel checks and had two fumbles right out the gate, which will make today fun. Yes, we had um, Waden fumble and Lily fumble. Um, and everyone else was good enough, you know. I don't think, I think only Fern was, uh, was doing good, but not amazing. Uh, so, I'm going to fire up some music because I enjoy background music. And you're going to have to suffer with me. You had loaded up the cart and you were about to head out. Um, so... Last time, uh, Hannah and Lily, was it, who went out in the morning to gather herbs? Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you, Juniper, wanted to have a go at gathering those berries, yes. um, it would have to be you and either Fern or Waden, because Lily and Hannah already failed today. Welcome, mm -hmm. Sacred Snow. Thank you. <laughs> I cut open my arm. <laughs> well, I can, oh, I can try. How hard could it be? I mean, these How are not. How hard can it be? These aren't like dragon bushes again, right? We're not stealing this time. No, these ones. These <coughs> ones are regular. There, look. There's so okay. many of them. There can't be that many dragons. Well, I, I can. I can <coughs> use my hook to like like hook them in a bit and pick some. What do I roll for that? Yeah, that, that that'll definitely work. Sure. Uh, so I think I I'm uh, trying to cajole you two to go out and uh, and pick berries with me. Uh, you know, sure. if I if I get if I get some more than we have, maybe I can sell them in the town. That'll be pretty cool, right? We as can, long as we, we don't can... dump them anywhere and like make people work and. Definitely you know, no fruit dumping. Those days are behind me. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> Uh, so I'm what level do we... good and stupid. Let's go pick some berries. <laughs> yeah. What do we okay. What do we roll for this? Uh, you are rolling, and I'm checking to make sure I'm giving you the correct roll. Strength plus int. Int. I'm not. The... Oh. No, you're not the smartest, but you're picking berries. You're strong. Why do I have to be smart for picking berries? You know, that's see wrong. which ones are safe to pick. Yeah, you need to be able to know which to ones pick. won't kill you. Four. Wow, that's not good. No. <laughs> I got. Ow. 
You got nine, nine. from the looks of it. Um, yeah. Fortunately, fortunately, a single one is not a fumble. You have to get all ones. Oh, good. Oh, good. Um, so, while Fern... Fern, what does it look like when you're not smart enough to pick berries? Well, um, you, you probably try and pick the wrong ones, and then when you hook your crochet hook around the branch, you pull it too hard, so you make all the berries go into jam, and you like stomp all over the good ones, and it's just, you know, big mess. So you're currently wearing uncool, berry stained Crocs? Yeah. Uh, while uh, Juniper successfully manages to pick a bushel, as we call it, of gra raspberries. Ha -ha. Nine is enough. My berry picking skills are unparalleled. I come back with like pink hands up to the elbows and like one perfect one. <laughs> <laughs> I got oh. one. <clears throat> There's this a, is so there hard. There's a fair amount of flies buzzing around you since you're all sticky and smelly and, you know, to them, delicious. Oh, that's, uh, that's great. G great work. You're really <laughs> okay, helping so out, Fern. Don't patronize me. I know when I did well, not so, you know, <laughs> this, this is not my thing. Yeah, yeah, everybody's got their thing. And Stop my I'm, feet, Clover. I'm sure we'll find yours. Um, so, uh, Fern, because mm. you're all covered in juice and stuff, um, you start getting bitten by stinging insects, and you take a hit point damage from all the <laughs> bug bites on your legs and on your feet and on your arms. Now I only have 15. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Alex, you're the quartermaster, so you're also the person I should be telling this to. The bushel of berries are a size 3. Mm hmm. Size... And, and we had one bag full of berries from before. That got eaten. That got eaten, so now we have one again. Gotcha. Everyone everyone wanted bonuses to their condition checks, because a lot of you weren't feeling too good. Yeah. Which, yep. Seems worth it. So, I wrote down that my condition check was really good, so I had a tip-top shape, so that yes. meant I had a bigger dice, right? So that's Correct. for today still. Mm -hmm. You did. Yeah. Wait, a lot of you did a lot better on your condition checks today after... A not so good first day, which is also partly why you ate so much delicious food to get all the bonuses. We, we definitely <laughs> stacked those bonuses for today. <laughs> yeah, you stacked your bonus. And you did it really well on your camping check, which gave you an additional bonus. Um, but yes, your travel checks, they're, they stand. They are. Um, like I said, I think just telling you how much hit points you lose is boring. I'd like you to tell me what happens during the day that causes you to la lose half your hit points for those that fail. But for now, far more importantly, I'm assuming you're heading out. Camp broken? Cart loaded? I already loaded the cart when we were on top of the plants because, you know... Reindeer pacified after a terrifying morning? <laughs> yeah. Sven, Sven, come on. <laughs> oh, I think and Clover I'll... needs to ride on Sven. Clover is like Sven support animal now. <laughs> I'll put down. We drink a day's worth of water each, so we're down to five days worth of water, which is one day for all of us in our barrel. Uh -huh. So we need to find water. <laughs> but I think we haven't used our our personal water skins yet, so it's not it so did. dire. I you use personal the water day. skins and then refill oh, the personal then we refill skins them. from That's the right. barrel. That's refilling right. yeah. today. So our personal stocks aren't aren't the things that we're lowering. You're just keeping track, I think, of the total Correct. water that we have. And once that runs out, then we have to start thinking about our own personal ones. Sounds good. All right. So you sit out once again, surrounded by uh, grass. And um, I'm going to need a direction check to see how well you find your way in an area with practically no landmarks. Would the mapper like to um, yes, ask I for help? Or I was going to say, we you... can help with this, right? Are you one Because I upped my going... intelligence no, no, today. No, I've got this. I upped well, my intelligence. Well, I, after what happened, like, uh, the, the last time and also seeing, like, how this whole group 
can really like work together and help. Um, I turn around with my with my not so big like I it's like it's like a compass, but it's like one of those cheap ones. It's like a very very tiny one that only has like an N on the on the north one and like a, a small little a small little arrow in the middle. Um, and I I turn around with it and I'm like, so I think <laughs> I think I'm not to be trusted with this anymore. Um, I think I'm gonna need help. I, well, right. I did study orienteering. Um, I could maybe take a crack at it. It'll be my first try, but I read the books at least. Sure. Uh, help, please. <laughs> Thank right. you. All right. Roll to assist and roll to find your way through the grasslands towards and is it, Pond. Is it double int or is it dex? Double int. int. Double yeah, int. no, this is your moment. No, I upped this today. I knew I might need to do something useful. As is mine. Oh my god. Okay. Wait. Let me get another D8. Actually, let me just roll this twice. Can't tell what that face <gasps> is on Michael's. That's an ace. It, it, might, it might be okay. <laughs> might be okay. So I have D8 <laughs> for int, and I rolled a 16. That's the eight. Wow. <laughs> That's a crit. Uh, That's great. I didn't even tell. I will say, I'm rolling d6s, so a 2 and a 3 is not that bad, but it's 5. <laughs> okay, that's fine. But I rolled double eights. I'm... That makes up for it, for sure. So, uh, critical allows you to uh, find your way, and um, it helps you with the terrain difficulty. So, for the grasslands, that doesn't mean too much, but I'll say... Because you'll be nearing the swamps. As, as you walk along during the day, the ground gets soggier and wetter, and the grass starts to get more weedy and reedy. Um, normally, your speed would have completely in the swamp, but I'll say you can help them find uh, the dry patches to stand on and avoid people, um, you know, getting up to their thighs in, in muck. Got it. That's awesome. That's cool. Yeah. So, uh, while you're traveling, though, those of you who just did amazing with finding your way, I think you're so busy with the compass and the direction of the sun and where the marsh is and just navigating and pathfinding, maybe you're not paying a lot of attention to what's directly in front of you. So, uh, Baden and Molly, what happens to you? Because it's perfect because you both failed your check, so you're together when this happens, apparently. How do you both lose half your hit points while you're navigating so beautifully? Mm. How do we lose half our hit points? So I was, I was thinking, I don't know if if Michael would agree with this. Like, um, I was thinking maybe. Um, so if it's about what directly what's directly in front of us, maybe it's like the marsh all of a sudden has this like like deep hole like like a puddle. You know when there's a puddle but the hole underneath is way bigger. Oh it's absolutely not a puddle. This is exactly like what I was thinking. Sinkhole. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a sinkhole kind of thing. And so um I think we both like like trip and step in one and we just like I don't know, we get stuck. We yeah, we like whoop. uh but maybe like up to our up to our waist so we don't really we can't really get out, but it it's like um how when when mud has like a lot of force on it, it can really like hurt. Like if you yeah. have a, a leg stuck. Like suctioned in there, yeah. Yeah, that can really has to hurt. pull you out, you get bruises and like your yeah. ankle isn't quite right. I'm able to get like one leg out, but I lost the boot, and I have to go back for oh, that, and then like pull yeah. each other out, and <clears throat> those boots and, are like, so expensive. And pulling each other out as soon as it like gives, and like we get free from the mud, we just like tumble backwards and like roll over mm -hmm. some rocks and kind of a little worse for wear, but through some yeah. trial and error, we found the right way because we went the wrong way at first. <laughs> Oh yeah, yep. <laughs> definitely went the wrong way first. So the oh, three yeah. of you that aren't involved in um, mud wrestling, uh, <laughs> you know, they're they're a little messy today, but somehow it's working. 
like so well. Um, and it's not long before um, you can see taller things in the distance than just grass stalks and the ground is very wet and muddy and you're starting to see trees for the first time in two days. Um, and there's a little, if you round across a pond, um, you actually get near um, more of a mangrove. Um, the transition isn't as smooth as you'd expect. Um, there seems to be almost quite a harsh boundary um, where the wind stops blowing a little bit. It's still quite warm. Um, and you see, a, well, I will not call it a dirt trail, like a water trail. With, if you try really hard, you can walk on the roots next to it. Do you get the feeling that people around here don't necessarily use roads? Well, the cart fits? Probably not. Hmm. I don't it... think I, I didn't bring any runners to convert this cart into a <laughs> sled. <laughs> In the distance, you can see people um, on like those really flat bottom boats pulling along. Um. Well, the cart looks a bit like a flat bottom boat. Can we just like ride in the cart on the water? Maybe oh. I'm I'm a bit sick of the swamp. Honestly, I'd like to go see if we can get a boat. Can we talk to somebody and just be done with this? I'm yeah, maybe we can maybe we can hire someone to, to help us out, or they'll so do it for yeah. free. Who knows? I can, <coughs> I can go talk to somebody. I just I just I I'm I'd, I'd like to get to Scarlet Pond as soon as possible and clean this disgusting muck off of my clothes. And yeah, I'll I'll go talk to somebody. Give me just a minute. Make sure you don't smell like jam. <sighs> and he kind of tries to <laughs> wait and starts yeah, to like very... shake it off a little bit. <clears throat> you're a very odorous group right now. <laughs> he tries to kind of, uh, if he can, like dip his boots in the water and maybe kind of get some of the mud off a little bit, and try to make himself as presentable as possible. Maybe cover himself with his cloak in some areas to look a little nicer. Kind of pulls his scarf out of his. Uh, tunic a bit and kind of fluffs it up just to... I could, I could use magic to uh, hit you with a bunch of snowballs. That might... Is that going to clear you up? Uh... Uh, I appreciate the gesture but I just... That's the last thing I can think that I would want right now. <laughs> okay. So you um, still look... Like, you look a little better clothes-wise. You still look a little bit... <clears throat> yeah, he's pretty haggard at this point. Yeah. Um, but I will approach... And uh, just hail the next boat that I see. And see, um, okay. excuse me, excuse me. Uh, yeah, they, they're sort of mooring a little bit towards you. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. sorry, we're travelers. Um, on our way to Scarlet Pond. Uh, we're doing a favor for a young tea shop owner in a neighboring town. At Are you Maple bringing Ward. that? Um, are they referring to the cart? They are. Because um, I don't think that floats. If we're new to the area and we're not sure how mm. uh, to maneuver around, um, if there's a way that we could bring the cart with us, it would be appreciated. It has a lot of our supplies. Um, do you know how far it is to Scarlet Pond from here? Oh, you're, you're quite close. If you, uh, if you follow the water, we're talking an hour or two. Um, but, you know, and you wanna, if you go, want to go from, from tree to tree as far as uh, getting the cart along I assume that would take longer well well, hmm. you can't fit on this but you could we, you could rent one of the barges uh, the, yes uh, absolutely we'd be happy to rent something like that um, how would I go about doing so well well, you you came in a quite quite a good location for this. It's it's a few minutes back that way, a little a little more to the south, and you have uh, you have the moor, and there you can hire one of the barges. Um, excellent. Um, is 
if possible that I could maybe uh, arrange a ride for myself and maybe a companion to go and hire a barge and then they'll bring us back if you have um, the time to spare well I suppose that's possible yes um, g give me I mean, just you, a moment yeah, and I, I hope can... you don't mind sitting on, on the cages though we don't oh. have a lot of room uh, of course, uh, you're doing me a favor, I'd be happy to. Um, give me just a moment and I will check with the rest of my um, traveling group and see who will, if you don't mind, waiting for a moment. That You can see them pull the poles up and put them across their knees and they're leaning back and they're grabbing those wax wraps and they're just sort of having a snack and just going, yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Um, and I'll run my way back to the group. Uh, so, I talked to some of the boat um, people and uh, they said that we probably couldn't get the cart through on one of their boats but it's just a few minutes down the river to hire a barge and they could come back up and bring the cart with us. They also mentioned that we're very close to Scarlet Pond. Mm, do we know how much the barge costs? I'm like looking at the small amount of gold in my bag. Oh, I, I don't worry about it. I'll, I'll take care of it. Oh, okay. I mean, if you, if you want to, I won't stop you. Yeah, uh, it's... Uh, as long as we get back to Scarlet Pond and everybody gets there safely and we can all take a nice long bath and wash this day off of us. Wait, then, are you rich? <laughs> um, I come from a well-off family. I'm not personally wealthy, um, I wouldn't say. I I mean, it's... Uh, I mean, what, I... Mean, I, I and he just kind of trails off and kind of is at a loss for words. He doesn't know how to deal with this situation. <laughs> um, was that? Should I, should I not have asked that? I, it's just, well, I... I think it's fine. <clears throat> I think it's fine. It's just that some people don't really like to talk about where they come from or their, like, their financial status. <laughs> they don't love talking about that. Because sometimes then people can react with, oh, you're just pretentious and you just have a lot of money because you were born that way or in well, such a family. And, I mean, th yeah. that's that's not really it at all. It's uh, Yeah, I, I'm sure I'm not... Brayden worked really hard for his money. I'm sure he did. I have worked very hard to get to where I am today and be on my journey. And I've been supported. But, but you're rich. You can hire the barge. Because I have, like, so are we money. giving you a ride or what? Uh, <laughs> I can hire the barge. It won't be an issue. Oh, that's so good. Um, I will crochet you something. Wonderful. I just Does somebody want to come with me to maybe help make arrangements? Uh, we will need probably some people to stay with the cart for a bit until we get back. Well, It'll Anna just be a few is coming minutes. with you, right? I suppose if someone is volunteering me, that's very easy to be okay. the case. Um, <laughs> well, you're good at talking to people and oh so, so, well that's very sweet of you to say uh, i was actually interested in joining myself if you don't mind me accompanying you wait in. of course i'd be happy to um I think... it might it, it might be best and she sort of looks at the giant crochet needle it might be best if at least one of the folks who are able to swing something nice and hefty like that stay up at this party this part of the group just in case oh, i will protect everyone idea. Yeah, from, like, are there bog monsters? Is that a thing we have to... I'm, like, looking at the Merc. Uh. Roll me a perception check. Oh, God. Oh, no. For everyone? Or is, <laughs> just yep. is that a just real Juniper. Thing? Just oh, Juniper. boy. Now that you mention the bog monsters. Okay, 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 <laughs> that is okay. Correct. Why did I say that out loud? Because you love me. There. All right. Checks. Is that a sense not... check? Oh, no, perception uh, no, it's, it's perception on your Perception yeah. is its own thing. Um, we've done them before. Yes. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's a 10. That's oh, 10. good. So while you're sitting, we'll talk about bog monsters and going, uh, uh, you know, there's, you know, there's a lot of fish, cute fish, little fish, big fish. There's also an area where there's no fish and a very large um, log, which has eyes. Hey, guys. Lots of teeth. Ooh, I think there's some sort of a big 
I don't know, Crocagator over there. Uh, does anybody... Should we just leave it a... Uh, I'm, like, pointing it out. Leave it alone. I just, like, I make myself as big as possible. <laughs> and I just, like, keep a hand on my bow and I'm like, I got it. And I just um, keep it in, in eyesight. Lily, think Han it's just <coughs> napping. I think oh. Hannah, at that point, if Juniper mentions that to the whole group, she'll just go over to the person with the... with the... Who's, has the wax paper on is I, I imagine is getting like that bored expression of like come on can you all just like hurry up and make a decision I already had my plans figured out like 10 minutes ago yeah. the one in front of what older man is looking bored and exactly the way you just described him behind him is a younger boy who is just having a nap he looks I, I like think... one of those teenagers that just can sleep anywhere at any time so he just sort of put his oar across his knees went like this and hasn't moved since Wade and left. Yeah, I, I think Hana will start just to walk over to, to. It's a little boat, correct? Like it's just a, with cages in the back. You're saying and. Yeah, uh, 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 man cages boy. Um, the cages are covered by cloth, but you're pretty sure it's crawfish. Now it's like one of those long, like, oh, wide, oh. long wide canoes. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I, I have an idea what you mean, yeah. Yeah, because I was imagining like a bigger ship when you, once you said crawfish, I was like, oh, like the big ones where they toss out the giant cages to try and catch them when they're out. No, they have the little ones that you pick up every morning. Right, right, mm -hmm. right, the smaller ones. Gotcha. Yeah. I, I think she'll just hop over and she will just introduce herself. He's an older man, correct? Yes. Hello Pretty there. Weird, bit of a tummy. <laughs> Hello there. It's wonderful to see such a handsome man in the morning. Will you be the one helping take a, take my friend and I across? He gives you a, a what I can lovingly call an unwashed salute, ma'am. Um, sure, if you're if you don't mind sitting on the cages, I told you you're young, you're a young one. Oh, I've had much worse in my life, don't worry. <laughs> well, by all means, hop on, and he extends a hand to help you. He just across. like very carefully just goes whoop and just hops onto little boat the little new boat and she just sort of like uh for anyone who's seen the gif of uh martin from the simpsons on the school bus just patting the seat next to him yeah she's just the really doing awkward that for, one yeah no the really one awkward one where she's just like pet 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 the seat next to her for waden mm, kind of. and like is not giving any mind if he seems kind of like uncomfortable she's just like come on he, he tries to kind of get himself on the boat like maybe he doesn't need a little bit of help but it's probably a bit unsteady as he steps on and almost loses his balance but kind of catches yeah, the younger boy just puts his pole on the on the bottom of it to steady it into yeah, th thank you <clears throat> you're uh, welcome ready all right so they shove off and start before before we head out i will ask the man as we're traveling mm -hmm. i will point in the direction that juniper has noted the log and regardless if it's there or not she will just ask mm -hmm. him very politely is that is that a local creature of some kind that ha that lives around here? Oh, yeah. Just, um... Don't wake him up, you know? Don't splash around too much. You can swim around them if you're real careful, if you feed them some chickens, but... Once they bite, they don't let go, so... Caution. Oh, I've known many a person in my life who is similar to that kind of, uh, trait. <laughs> Wonderful information oh, yeah. to get as we leave them behind and not share it with them <laughs> at all. <laughs> Bye. Take care, everybody. Okay, bye. <laughs> Don't get eaten. Good luck. See you in an hour. <laughs> all right. So, those of you being left behind on the banks, what are you doing? Well, if Wayden is rich, why is he like traveling with us? And not being carted around by like servants and shit. I don't know how it works. How does rich be? How does it work when you're rich? Well, so when you're rich, you do sometimes get like wheeled around and like you know people really take like a liking to you because you have money. Um, but also sometimes people with money despise having money. Because they That's want to just be normal. Silly. 
Just, well, mine is useful. It's just a tool. Well, it is, but also sometimes, as I said, sometimes people like get treated differently because they have a lot of money. They get treated like they're no goods and they they don't really belong or whatever. And so sometimes people with money are like, I want to get away from that life, and so I'm going to go travel. So you mean like Jeff, that's the guy in my village, he has like the really fluffy sheep and everyone's a tiny bit jealous of him because his sheep are always the fluffiest and he's like, well, I don't make my <laughs> sheep fluffy, they're just fluffy. And he gets really annoyed when you say, oh, there's Jeff with his fluffy sheep. Exactly. Like that, like that kind of, yeah, yeah. But then with a lot of money. No, I don't get it because having fluffy sheep is awesome. No, really. It is. It is, but then sometimes people are like, "Sheep are too fluffy," mm. and you're like, "I don't make the sheep." <laughs> it's not, yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. right. It's just useful to have money. I don't have any money left, I guess. You know? Yeah, me, me neither. <laughs> not really. Let's see how much money I have. I have like, uh, let me see where it is on my chart. I don't think I have any money left. I wonder if we can do do you think I don't know I if this would be rude, but I I have a, a, a bit of you know, a bit of small skill in, in negotiating some prices for things, but I'm I'm really good at doing that if we have a lot of, you know, bulk goods, like a bunch of things at once. And I can't quite afford that yet. Do you think do you think it would make sense that we could all pool some of our money together when we got to the town and then we could buy a bunch of something and then take it you know back to where we're going and then split the profits as long as it doesn't go bad and you have to dump it yeah like we got to get something road. durable like like spices or or you know some sort of goods like nothing nothing that's going to perish for sure i learned and that lesson how much do you need well, I mean, I, I guess it depends on how much we can get if Waden's rich. Like, we could we could all potentially, you know, and, and of course we would we would share back to <laughs> everyone ever... just as much as they gave. Isn't this just like using him for his fluffy sheep? Well, it's like how your whole village benefits from the fluffy sheep because everyone gets to wear fluffy sweaters. Well, if um, you trade something for it, he doesn't just give it away. I know. Well, if, if he wants to pay for something, that's fine. But I don't think we should be like, oh, he has money. Let's use it. Oh, no, of course not. But maybe he'll want to help. Also, I just I thought I would ask you guys first. True. That's a good idea. But <coughs> I also, can't find my money, guys. Maybe I he's lost not, it at the plant. He's not the only one with money. You have oh? money too? Are you rich too, Lenny? Well, let's not say rich, but I do have some money. On a scale from baby goat to fluffy sheep? <laughs> How about we say uh, medium fluffy sheep? Ooh, Ooh medium fluffy, pretty good. <laughs> like, like, a. Uh, how about we say, uh, like, a. Uh, like, if we say uh, bunnies, like, how about a, uh, an Ahora buddy? Bunny? <laughs> like, that's, like that really fluffy bunny. The, you can crochet beautiful stuff from bunnies. It's true. Yeah. Do you make okay. a lot of money from hunting? Um, well, so, yeah, kind of, yeah. I do have my own shop back home. Oh, you have a shop? That's so lovely. I've always wanted to have a shop. Yeah, it's it's like a it's like a butchery, kind of. Ooh. Oh. Because, I have a booth. Um, yeah. That's cool. At the market. That's I also, awesome. I found my gold. I have four gold. That's a lot, right? I can like buy food. You can buy food, <clears throat> yes. But also, I can also buy you food. You guys are also nice. Yes. <laughs> That's because we have to take care of each other. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> money thing is weird. I just barter a lot, you know? I, I crochet a hat for someone and they give me something else and... I mean, that's, yeah. a, that's, a, that's a good idea. That's that's good. Yeah, that's how my village works a lot, too. We just have, you know, the different couple of close little villages <laughs> bartering stuff back and forth between each other. And you, you do use money, but sometimes it feels more like a way of keeping score than anything, you know? Mm -hmm. That's because it is. <laughs> that's because it is. 
Um, yeah, back home we we have a lot of different shops as well, but we we mainly use just gold. We don't really barter. We've gone over that. That didn't really go well. <laughs> It's useful that someone has money for barges and things. <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. And hopefully soon it'll be me. I just have to make one good trade. <laughs> I don't want to trade. I want to trade my hat because I want to trade your hat. Oh, In your hat looks fine. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get into hat, -ness. as we ponder that, I, I I'm so happy right now because <laughs> Lily's occasional body like gestures and such have made it seem like occasionally her character is just like looking out at the water and is like we have to take care of each other and it's just aiming an arrow just in case something is coming <laughs> like it's just so aiming at random logs every log is a threat <laughs> that, is a log. that is a log occasionally she is just goes don't try it <laughs> technically just the ones with eyes and teeth you know technically technically, technically. So, uh, Waden and Hana, you arrive at the moor. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're just gonna not, like, they'll offer Hana a hand up from the boat. Um, they're just gonna leave Waden to then for himself. Kind of, it, a little better this time, because they tried it once, but still yeah. kind of a lean and then just like a hop and just hopes to land on solid ground. <laughs> I won't make you roll for it. I'm, I'm gonna assume you can disembark a fairly steady. I have a pretty good dex. Bold, but he yeah. could assume. Just uh, new. He's not a boat traveler. So they're gonna start unloading their uh, their cages, and they just sort of point you a little way down, and you can see those really large flat bottom like pontoons. Um, and um, someone who looks a lot like the man who just paddled you across, sitting with them. Uh, uh, Slightly older, a bit grayish in the beard, a bit of a tummy. Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is, Anique? I never don't know, mind. is it? Never mind. never mind. If it if it is, I will love you eternally, but um just avatar stuff. Don't pay no mind to me. That's me as a player that's me as a player, not my character. Uh, Behind you you see the painted lady though. <laughs> oh, Very uh, close, hello. right? Over um, <laughs> I love you so much, Shippy. <laughs> wait and we'll turn to the to the folks who paddled them across first and said, uh, thank you so much for uh, giving a safe passage through. Um, if you could just point me in the direction of the barge keeper and I think we'll take things from there. I, I think you should just go with the guy next to the barges. With uh, the sign that says barges. Yes, and Waden looks in every direction for what a barge mm -hmm. might be. And hopes to find the sign. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hana's already on the way. <laughs> yeah, uh, Hana's just sorry, but, but well, actually, she was going to ask. Did the did the man who took us across on the boat? Did he ask for a certain amount to take us over, or was he? That just was a favor. Him? Oh, okay. Can I leave him two gold, anyways? Um, he won't take it if you try to hand it to him, but you can like put it on one of the cages or somewhere else. But he he won't accept it if you try to give it to him. Okay. I think she will initially try, and then she will just, like, leave the two gold probably right in front of the boy and then just start, like, watching, like, start walking towards the sign where I'm pretty certain she obviously knows where it is, mm -hmm. but then looks back and is just sort of, like, tapping the ground to <laughs> sort of note to wait in to come over this way, and she holds out her arm, like, uh, if you like every other cliche movie scene where it's like the old lady gets the like mm -hmm. young man to like pull, take care of her across but I think this is her doing it for him she's definitely leading yeah yeah, <laughs> um, yeah wait and sees that Hana's already like halfway there and while well, he hasn't moved yet and kind of scampers to catch up um, and takes her takes her elbow that's being offered um, it's like mm -hmm. oh th th these ones over here Yes, that's hurts. that's what they look like. Oh, wow! Hmm. Interesting. It's quite fascinating when you get out a little bit more in the world. <laughs> yeah, it's. I 
I thought barge. I was thinking something that's totally different. Never mind. Work words, work words are strange, dear. Sometimes when we don't use certain ones, they, their meaning is lost to us after a bit. I try. <laughs> I'm certain you probably know some funny words I don't know and probably use, and I have no understanding of either. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I, I, people have said that I speak funny sometimes, but I think oh, just from different speaks, places. <laughs> everybody speaks funny some, to someone else. Don't let it bother you too much. Just keep learning. Just keep growing. Let's be on our way. Of course. Let's find the barge keeper. I like I said, or... elderly gentleman, bit of a tummy, wearing a red hat. Oh, oh. my god. It, 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 Hello. Uh, well, sort of r red with beige, kind of. And are, are you the barge keeper? Sorry, uh, my name's Waden San Clemente. This is my friend Hana. Um, we were looking to charter a barge to possibly transport our cart downriver um, to make its way to Scarlet Pond. All right. Well, welcome to more. Oh. My name is Zoo. Um, barge is a gold. Oh, of course. The if round trip. you don't mind me saying. The two of you, I'm not sure you could pull the barge adequately. Oh, well, if if we need to hire a crew, I could do that as well, if the, you have men to spare. Well, well, to spare. It's a big word. There isn't as many of us as you think. Oh, but uh, we, uh, I, I wouldn't we can, want to put we can, out. we can scrounge up some people, I'm sure. Yeah, it, it, just a little bit of help. Um... Once we get to the rest of my party, um, I think we can take it from there, and they can just enjoy the ride back. Uh... Sure thing. I'm not doing it, Angela. You can stop making that face. They are named after him, but they're not all the okay. same person. Okay, okay, sorry. I just, I, I, I'm good. I was going to be having a smile on my face session. Unless you clarify it, I had to double check. Is inspired by yes. You didn't ask his name, but the person who peddled you across was called Doc. Sorry, I love Doc. you. I, I I respect you so much, Anik. You just get a bunch of um, basically day laborers who um, hang around, spotting at mosquitoes until people come along who forgot that you need a crew for a barge. Yes. Um, you can get four of them. Um, that should be enough um, if you want all of you and the cart, because that's what's going to make it like the heaviest. Mm -hmm. um, well, the cart and Sven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's not forget the giant elk. <laughs> right. <laughs> so if you get four of them and some of you help and take turns, um, you'll get across fair enough. So the barge is five gold, day laborers will be another ten-ish, okay. depending on if you want to tip them. And, uh, uh, so so five, five for the for all of us to be able to do that, plus the ten for the laborers. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, say... Hana, Hana will put down seventeen gold. Uh, before she does, uh, Hana will probably notice this. Waden will be a bit uh, try to be subtle about it, but she'll probably notice that Waden kind of reaches uh, in the back of like a belt pouch where he pulls out a very sizable um, sack of gold and kind of reaches in, pulls out about 20 gold pieces, and uh, hands them to the man, and kind of just sneaks it away. But it was definitely a large pouch of gold that he had on him. <clears throat> uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, I hope this is enough to cover everything that you've done. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> oh, that's mighty nice of you. Just uh, try and have it back in a week or so. If you don't need it, if it's one way, just send the boys back with it. Of course, yeah. Thank you. Bye, good luck. Say hi to my brother in Scarlet Pond. Of course. <laughs> uh, and what is his name? Yoshi. All right, I, I'll make sure to say hi. It, it makes it even better because Juniper's screen has the Appa plushie right next to him. <laughs> it's great. Both my dogs right. are named after Avatar characters. <laughs> I really need to watch that. 
You do. It's on Netflix. Go watch. It. Don't watch it now. Watch it tomorrow. Yeah. It's Binge really it. cute. But this um, really did turn into an, an after the last ever under stream. <laughs> <laughs> it, don't don't worry. It, I'm oh, sure. I'll be like that. in a few months, and I'll be like every. I'm pretty sure this was oh. the first actual Avatar reference no, I this, put in this. No, this was the only one. It's just yeah. the tea shop vibe and everything else had elements of that, but those are not specifically Avatar. No. This is the only specific one. All That's right. because this, one, this character is one of my absolute favorites. Mm -hmm. Anywho, Make our you way paid the man. The barge. Just tired. <laughs> you paid the man. Uh, you have a barge with four people. Um, and you set off down the... Well, I wouldn't call it a river. Scum pond? That's eh, not that bad. Marsh. Swamp. Morris. Yeah. Mangrove. English is a fun language. You have a lot of words. We borrow them uh, from everyone. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm borrow is talk a about kind. borrowing. Yeah. yeah, borrow is a kind way to phrase that. <laughs> you made this, I made this, it's mine now. So, <laughs> we will, unless people back at the uh, cart want to spend time provoking the log, I think we can say your weight passes without incident. Um, Seems and fair. We can, and we, <laughs> we can provide that you get Sven to behave, because he just wants to go swimming. I, I uh, think Fern, Fern is is okay with not poking it. I myself really want to poke the thing. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, you were left with adults. Ish. <laughs> ish. I, said, I said ish. We ha you have Lily. Mom yeah. was there to watch. Mm -hmm. I can just, I can just, I have a long ball. I can just like poke it like Lily. No. no. <laughs> You guys, I tried so hard not to make sack jokes. Don't say you have a long pole. <laughs> <laughs> and I can put things with it. We <laughs> will fast forward to the barge with Waden and Hana coming around the Take corner as you're discussing the the fantasy poles. game. <laughs> so wait, I have to visualize this. So is this like a big, like, oak kind of thing? The floats. It is, oh, okay. Yeah, it's just, Got it. it's basically just a flat bottom. It has no sides. Okay, it and it's somehow. Okay, and it's being pulled by some people. Pulled. No, so pulled. It's a pulled. Like, like, a, yeah. like a gondola or something. Like a you gondola. Like, like the they're literally putting just push stocks along. in the bottom and pushing it. <laughs> just again. a big gondola. Got it. With no Got sides. It. But, okay. but yeah, flatter. But not, but not looking like and it. it doesn't have like a, and it doesn't have like a sail or anything. It's nope. just a log. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Lots of room for the cart. Yes. Is all I'm saying. Good, good, good. Do you have like an animal handling thingy to get Sven to go on it? We'll just I'll do the I'll do the same maneuver as before where I have my raven like hop onto the boat and off. People are like, huh, it's easy. Well, just like you this. have the support goats to help him him show the way as well. I think and I won't, after I won't this make him morning, pull the cart on, I'll like lead him on separately. Yeah. I think after this morning he's just he doesn't mind the water as much as he did the height. So I think he's just happy he's staying at least near the ground. ground. Level. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Staying on yeah. the ground, buddy. There you go. Uh, I would like to know who's helping pull this giant <coughs> cart onto this boat. All right, all the butch Wait, people. This, nice. Yeah. <laughs> butch mom. All right, butch mom, butch artisan, and well built noble successfully uh, board the pond boat thing. Okay. Um, the four day laborers start uh, pulling it. Much more difficulty. And quite a lot slower. Um, if two of you would like to help them, there so, are air poles to Yeah, Wayden would okay. offer to help both so he could have this experience and also to be polite. Okay. Fern will be like chatting all the way. Oh, it's just like a long crochet hook. Like, I really like how it's like it feels in my hand and just like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, Wayden, even though you're fit. Mm -hmm. You do notice after half an hour or so the skin on your hands you're getting yeah. blisters. Like you've had blisters before from fencing practice and you know all that. This is different. Fencing blisters. Wow. One. 
You to get yeah. blisters from pets. Yeah, it's true, yeah. true, but it just sounds very pretentious. Yeah, it's it really does. Well, I really <laughs> love kind of blisters. Sorry, did he tell? Did he tell you his craft. full name yet? Rich boy blisters. <laughs> yes, boy blisters. Rich boy blister is yeah. getting baby uh, Paul Barge blisters. Amazing. Yeah, as My hands are fine. He'll probably take a, like several breaks as these day laborers just like power through and like make him oh, more yeah. pathetic. As he's like yep. oh, kind of like putting his hands in the water and trying to like cool them off and like, oh. yeah, like we'll be trying like not to incessantly telling you how to hold the stick because you're holding it wrong. I mean, if you keep holding it like that, you have movement in the stick and. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And the day laborers are rolling their eyes at you a little bit, both of you. There's definitely no technique here. He's trying to just do it all strength. Zero technique. Yeah. He's never done anything like this before. I'm sure that <laughs> when he's like taking a break and like cooling his hands and all of that stuff, I like come over and lay a hand on his on his like uh, like on the on the on his back and I'm like, "Are you okay? Do you want me to take over?" Uh the tr Maybe just for a minute. I just need I just need some water. Uh, mm -hmm. just, sure. just a little drink or something. It is very warm and very humid, so unless uh, like your sun gear doesn't actually help against this type of heat, because mm -hmm. it's just you can't. Sticky. It's too damp to sweat. Yeah, it's just yeah. sticky. I think we've all been in that environment at some point in our lives, mm -hmm. and. Sadly. Sweating doesn't help, it's just warm, nope. and it's kind of miserable. Those day laborers have taken their shirts off, like, first ten minutes. That's what I was gonna say, because when Waden, like, gives me the stick, I, like, wait. And I, like, put down the stick, and then I, I take off, like, the, the the cloak that I have on, I take that off, I, I, I kick off my boots, and I, uh, I, like, do, I, with the pants, I, like, pull them up over my knees, and I, uh, I, Put that the the, the sleeves up. Uh, yeah, the sleeves up, and then I just like go to town. <laughs> this sounds uh, like get... a job for Candy Ice Cube. <gasps> yeah, Yay! doing my magic. Doing your magic, make a magic roll, do the thing. I had a really bad joke on, about Wade never having his hand on a pole before, but I just can't find the right time to make it. <laughs> Okay, I got a nine on my time magic bad time to make check. a joke, though. So I create a large, translucent, frozen block, 50 centimeters on a side. The block may be used as an object in battle. Once it melts, it disappears, so it can't be used for water. But it is a delicious, candy-tasting ice cube that everyone can cool themselves on. Nice. Uh, Sven comes over and sort of goes, ah. Yeah, it's uh, one, of, one side of it is for him to lick, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I I don't think Sven's very happy. Like, he was okay with the bargey thing, he's less okay with the weather. Yeah. Waiting can definitely, during one of his many breaks that he's taking, uh, <laughs> he'll uh, go to chop a few little pieces off of this candy ice cube and, like, hand them out to all the laborers that we've hired and try to make yeah. them comfortable. And... I think, First of uh... all, he just sort of looks at it funny and just sort of goes like this. Oh, it, it tastes great, too. You gotta eat it. Juniper has uh, has gotten uh, an axe off the back of the um, the wagon where it was in a... Uh, I think it had, like, a really nice, like, embroidered, uh, like, thing to go over the blade. So she, like, takes it out of that and is, like, chopping off chunks of ice from the cube. Excellent. The laborers, uh, once you explain to them that they can, in fact, eat this, they will. Um, one of them really takes to it. Two of them are sort of, like... And the third one goes back to going like this. He's like, ah, no, this is better. I imagine it's <laughs> like those cotton candy grapes where you're like, this shouldn't taste like this, and you yeah. kind of don't want to. <laughs> like, it, the, the way it looks and the way it tastes and the way it feels, none of those go together right now. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, with Waden taking copious breaks, uh, Fern and Lily just powering through. Um, it takes you about an hour and a half um, until you see in front of you uh, what you assume to be the town of Scarlet Pond. Now, too bad for the people on the stream, I will show my players a map of this particular area. So it's a little less swamp witchy than what you see 
uh, on the map, uh, but most of the houses are built um, a little bit elevated, um, but still in the water. They have wooden walkways that connect the houses. Um, and around the center of the village, there are a number of um, very clearly defined ponds that have little nets and fences uh, separating them from the rest of uh, the swamp. Um, all in all, you think the village would probably hold about 200, 300 adults, if you look at the amount of houses, assuming they don't stop 20 people in a house. Um, some of the smaller ponds are filled with little frogs, some seem to be tadpole breeding areas. Um, one large house has one of those logs with eyes and teeth over the uh, doorway uh, on his side. Um, kind of interesting, it actually has like six legs, webbed feet, um, kind of like a, a goldfish flare on the tail. Um, yeah, it's a current constant sound of uh, frogs and grasshoppers, cicadas, mm -hmm. the chirpy things. Yeah, mm -hmm. cicadas. Could, so cicadas, there you go. <coughs> um, and if you look at the map, the, the white canvas area actually covers what looks to be um, a stage area. Um, and you see little children, uh, like, with their teacher reciting or practicing something. Um, controlled chaos. They're, they're clearly trying to learn some kind of dance or whatever. And two, two of them are just crying in the corner. Oh. One of them's vamping in the front. Her little oh, friends are sort yeah. of like this behind her. Um, and you're coming in from that little road on the south west. Can I just say, this is so beautiful. Oh my god. I'm like I, completely... I will post this in the Discord as well. Please do. I'm it's... sorry I'm yawning so much. I, I promise you, I'm, I'm just really tired. Not it's scared. fine. I am too. It's okay. <laughs> That's why I'm rocking the bedroom cheek. It's fine. <laughs> um, so I'm yeah, right you're, you're viewing the town of Scarlet Pond. Um, Yay. So beautiful. It's, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Is there kind of like a dock area that we pull up to, similar to where we left with the barge from? Or um, somewhere yeah, if appropriate you look on, to park? If you look on the map, that large sort of shed uh, in the lower right-hand corner, mm -hmm. um, where those two little boats are, um, you could probably dock uh, near there. It looks to be some kind of storage area where you can offload things. Okay. <clears throat> It's actually open on the water side as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, then maybe Waden will have, like, kind of point them in that direction to, like, well, we could probably pull the boat over. That way I can hop off and see if I can find, um, who was it, Yoshi or uh, someone who is well, in Yeah, charge. our quest! <laughs> Good job! Um, um, a question, is the... Is this like a walkway thing? Is it big enough to fit like the cart, or are we gonna have to leave the cart on the? the... We'll probably have to leave the cart on one of the shores. Um, you could yeah. probably maneuver the areas that are solid and not like the the hanging bridges. Mm -hmm. um, but considering the fact that there's also people walking on them, you would probably be incredibly rude and blocking everyone's way. Exactly. Um, we could probably um, leave the town the cart. seems to be made for foot traffic. Yeah, we could leave the cart on the barge as long as we. We take anything that we need as important, but yeah, we could, or we could like get it to the shore, just like right to the right of the of that big shed in the lower right corner, mm -hmm. and then just like leave it behind those trees, like more at the top there. Just park it so that it's kind of yeah, so that it's kind of like obscured, but we can still like keep an eye on it. And all yeah, that stuff. Uh, let me Sounds see if nice. I could find uh, Doc's brother, uh, Yoshi, I think, and. Uh, Maybe they'll know a good place we can park it. Are you uh, sure? Uh, pulling up to the uh, hot area? The warehouse yeah, thing? and he's okay. keeping an eye out for someone who looks like the man he rented the barge from. Okay, to get a little closer, I'm going to try and draw on this map. Lana knows from different games I always draw on the wrong layer. 
<laughs> I'm gonna try and draw on the correct layer of this map. So around here, you should see a little purple circle thing. Um, you see a man? No, of course not. Why would this ever work? Oh, I so see a dog. Here. Small, it's near the wharfy thing. I think, I see, like, it's like a gray dot. It's kind of grayish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says lilac, like gotcha. that's not true. Mm -hmm. So you see a man who looks, um, yeah, a lot like Doc. Uh, grayish beard, bit of a tummy, um, funny hat. And he's fishing off the side of his little wharf. Uh, hey, uh, Yoshi, is it, I believe? Um, we were sent by ah, your brother. Doc must have sent you. Yes. <laughs> Hi, my name is Waden. And uh, these are my friends. We are new arrivals to Scarlet Pond. Uh, is, is there someone maybe we can He somehow has both an eye on his lore and an eye on you. Which is not a skill I've mastered yet, but this man is cross-eyed. Oh <laughs> is, there, is there a good place to put the barge and the cart and all that? Uh, the, the, uh, are you taking the cart anywhere? Uh, n no, we wouldn't want to impose. Just somewhere safe we can keep it uh, while we're here in town. Uh, put it on the shore. Wharf's kind of full. Uh, of course, <laughs> yes. And He just sort of thumbs over his shoulder. Yeah, with with the vague direction, he'll do his best to, and hopefully the I'm sure the, the day people laborers are already moving. Know. They've yeah. made this trip a hundred thousand times. They're, like <laughs> you, you, while you, you were you. asking, they were still going in that direction anyway. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So you managed to, um, they I should say. Yeah. Those you paid to be good at their jobs successfully deliver you to your destination. Uh, you can get Sven and the cart to dry land. Have the laborers already left? Or are no, they no, just helping us right they're now? Whole, they're, they're helping you unload. Okay. Uh, once we get everything off of the cart, um, Wayden is going to reach into his pouch and pull out like another three gold and give it to them. And just like, um, if you need food or drink, and just, I mean, enjoy yourself while we're here. Um, hopefully, would you be able to accompany us on the way back? Sure. Yeah, here, uh, enjoy. <laughs> and he... um, you see them heading towards the, the large house with the stuffed mounted crocker fish thing. <laughs> I don't think any of you would know what this is. I don't think any of you have been a, it, spend time in the swamps before, so. I assume, I'm going to assume it's somewhere that they can eat or something, and he'll, Wayden will make note of it, but we might check it out later. For has no filter she will ask what do you call that weird one with the six legs <laughs> they just sort of laugh at you and one of them the, the cockiest one just yells back i call it dinner is All this right. nice <laughs> ah, a bit like chicken oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so called dinner that's a weird name <laughs> okay. um so I guess we're like left alone with our 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 time, I guess. Um, our time yes. and free time. For now. If we have the cart often taken care of, we do need to ask about um, Aunt Ingeberg to find yeah, this that's, king's that's who I was have. interested in. Because there's uh yeah, there's uh, Ingeberg Jonathan. Jonathan. Ingeborg. 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 <laughs> Ingeborg. Uh, you know, as we're Ingeborg. as we're planning to head over there, uh, I... <laughs> I'm sorry, Alex. Everyone's hawking up slime. What are you trying to tell me? <laughs> as as we're as we're planning to head over there, uh, Juniper uh, has I think explained her uh, gold sharing plot to, with everyone while we were on the way, uh, and so she says, you know what we could do if we were looking for something to buy from uh, from this town and take back to the other one maybe we can get a whole lot of this medicine since they don't have any way to get it you know there's going to be a demand and it seems like it's something that's really local here so we can of course you know help out the person we're helping for free but if it's something other people need maybe this would be a, a, a good that we could make some money on trading it back what do you think uh, it depends on i know that they did say that the sap was somewhat expensive um but depending on the price and if it's perishable or not, uh, I yeah, think it's a wonderful idea, do. Jennifer. You know, 
know if it's just a, if it's just a medicine, it's not going to be heavy and weigh the cart down, right? Oh, Hana, so. could you roll me an intelligence check to make sure you're a herbalist? Ooh, yeah. So, uh, int plus int? Just int plus int, yeah. Okie doke, so let me see if there's any of the checks that on Roll20 are sponsored for this particular campaign and other campaigns that will allow us to know. Using Roll20 to share my beautiful map? Yes, uh, Monster Knowledge will cover that as well, so let's yeah. give that a shot. That is 3 plus 5, that's an 8. Um, so you're not an expert on King's Milk Salve necessarily, um, but you know that it's um, in a category of healing herbs and healing items that are not generally available for sale. Mm. Um, her healing herbs are, are uh, they have five different levels. So from rare to, to yeah, bar barely findable anywhere in the world. Um, King's Milk Sav is actually level four. Yeah. Ooh, wow. I have a chart. Um, yeah, Ooh, that handy chart. chart for this. And I also have a handy chart for this. There's a reason you're being sent on a on a shopping mission. So you can just buy this anywhere. Yeah. Um, I that's out of game. That's sort of I assume. And in game, I kind of feel like that's Hana's reaction to the whole beginnings of mercantile capitalism that's emerging right next <laughs> to me. I'm just like uh -huh. listening to this, and she's just sort of like trying to respectfully listen, but in her mind she's like, we'll be very fortunate if we get one, one of this. So let's start with getting the one. She's, okay. also, what's the expression? Try not to put the cart before the horse? Something <laughs> like that. I don't think you're supposed to make money on healing people. Well, we should look around for other things then, you know, keep an eye out for like local curiosities or, uh, or things that, that they won't have somewhere else. As you say this, and you're looking around, it becomes very apparent what this town's specialty good is. Is it dinner? Because everything seems to be made of woven everything. <gasps> uh, they clearly weave reeds and grass mm. and um, those... Uh, what's, what's a liam in English? Vines and things? Mm -hmm. The things Tarzan swings off? The vines. Yeah, yeah, vines. 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 Um, they clearly use everything in this in this mangrove to um, weave and and knot together mats. Um, there's wall hangings. Uh, most of the bridges are woven materials. Um, people walking around have adorable woven hats and skirts, and not in like the we're being rude to natives kind of way, but like high fashion mm -hmm. and so considerably more comfortable than those of you still wearing cloaks and things. So, two thoughts. One, I think you might have just broken Inez as a player from that description. And two, so basically, mangrove, swamp, druid, fashion design. Yes. I love it. That's Make amazing. I would like to find a weaver, because I would like to see if I can crochet some vines and maybe share the wisdom. Yeah. Can Hana foolishly and perhaps failingly attempt to herd the cats towards finding In Ingeborg? Bork. Wayden is interested in doing that as Ingeborg. well, so... Yeah. Ingeborg. Ingeborg. They will okay. never say I... it right, it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. No, 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 oh, I, I just don't know, I don't know whether it, whether it's word. it's the uh, Borg or whether it's like the Borges sort of like... Yeah, uh, that one. Kind of, Borg. yeah. Oh. So oh, it's Borges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, without the S. It's Borg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if, if I find a weaver on the way, I just want to look at I I say, um, I, you see, this whole time we've been talking about all this stuff, um, Lily has been very, very distracted by this, like, white canopy tent kind of thing where all these kids are performing, and she just absentmindedly says, yeah, 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 yeah. You know that's, what is extra uh, interesting, Lily? That canopy tent with sort of like a stage underneath. We've gone completely black on Twitch. Yeah, I'm fixing that real quick. I saw that happen. Um, you have these kids and, you know, there's a few of them drawing focus, but as you look a little longer, you notice they are in fact performing on a giant lily pad. <gasps> oh. Squee. Squee. Oh my god. And so you just hear me kind of go, <sighs> and then 
like call myself again and then I just go, mm hmm yeah. Mm hmm I even when people aren't talking, you just hear me go, mm hmm Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, interesting. Mm -hmm. Lily. Huh? You miss your kids. What do you no. Maybe. It's not weird to miss them when you see other kids. I'm just gonna go and uh, and look real quick. I I think I saw something over there. Uh, yeah, I'll, kids. I'll be right there. Um, okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> so I think he with the whole kids. group, um, <laughs> like some people said, uh, scattering like cats who saw something interesting. I yes. think now might be a good time of any to take our break. Taking a, a gander at Michael, who's still fixing things. Um, but we are just about halfway through the stream. You have at last made it to Scarlet Palm. Yay! Yay. Um, we did it. And there's a lot of fun stuff to do here, including getting medicine to save someone's life. But you know, side, side quests at best. Also, <laughs> kids, <laughs> we think stuff. I don't need to drop in on a woman. <laughs> All right. Have so, you ever I... run a social encounter? Sometimes you need five people to actually get them to believe you're earnest and sincere. Also, sometimes it would have been better if four of those people had never showed up. Huh? Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on who you're bringing. I will do quick shout outs to our uh, patrons who donate more than $10 every month to keep us going with all this messiness. So we have Jexy, Donald G, Nerdy T. It sounds like I'm either naming rappers or criminals with the way this is written. I'm very sorry. We do love you. I'm sure you have wonderful last names in real life. Michelle E, Abigator, uh, Anino, and Andy T. Thank you very much. We love you very much. Um, don't forget Roll20. Again, we've been mentioning them before. I will post the map I've been showing my players in our Discord as well. Um, and someone asked about the music. It is all scavenged and cobbled together from uh, royalty-free sites because I don't want to get copyright strikes. Um, I'll try and make a uh, Google playlist that I can share with people um, if I can find all the tracks again. Because it's all just, this sounds good. I'm going to download this and then put it in World 20. Mm -hmm. I'll, try, I'll try and get this organized for, for people. Uh, we'll take a quick break and we'll be back in realistically 15, 15 minutes. I think some people need caffeine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, 15 minutes. Yes. Bye, right. everybody. Bye. We'll see you guys see you soon. soon, guys. Bye. Bye. And thanks for all the follows. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. If you get a are now proudly sponsored by Roll20, the best virtual tabletop for all your role-playing needs. Over 4 million people use Roll20's virtual tabletop to power their favorite games. And with more modules than you can shake a stick at on their new revamped storefront, you'll definitely find something for your group to enjoy. Sign up today by clicking the link below or heading to roll20.net front slash start front slash WTTP. Tabletop Loot is an amazing place to get your dice, dice bags, dice boxes, and more. And now you can get 15% off your purchase at TabletopLoot.com by using the code WTTPDICE at checkout. Tabletop Loot. Your party starts here. While you're at it, check out our so awesome merch store, So Nerdware. So Nerdware is the place to find all your Welcome to the Party merch and other amazing stuff too. Head on over to SoNerdware.com and use the code WELCOME at checkout to get 10% off your next purchase. So Nerdware, it's what the nerds wear. Devin Rue, the amazing mistress of maps, has kindly supported the channel since the beginning and provides graphics for many of our streams. Head on over to RueInc.com to check out some of the best fantasy cartography on the web. Our Patreon supports the creators and producers of the channel by providing Roll20 subscriptions, cost coverage for video hosting, and more. If you want to support the channel while getting podcasts a week early, gaming articles that are published on Patreon first, a shout-out during our break, and more, head on over to patreon.com front slash welcomepartyrpg and throw us a buck or five. And last, but certainly not least, help out the party. Subs and bits not only support the stream, 
but also every 500 bits or a tier 1 sub gives a player or DM of your choice a reroll or system equivalent, and every 1000 bits or tier 2 sub gives a player or DM of your choice a crit or system equivalent. Thanks again for hanging out with us today. The game will be back in just a few minutes. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat.
welcome back to Dreams of Dragons, our Ryotama stream game. I figured you can't see our roll 20, so here's the map of Scarlet Palm. Real life behind me ish. Flipped though, so don't get confused when I use north, east, and south because they're all the wrong way around. Before we went to break, and some of us had some much needed caffeine, the party was. Uh, well, I'm not on the verge of splitting up. Splitting up. Uh, Lily being um, massively distracted, very unlike her, uh, decided to uh, head off towards this little canvas area that is covering a very large lily leaf um, that has children practicing for some kind of performance. Uh, Fern is looking around for a weaver to uh, talk arts and crafts with. Mm, yes. Uh, Waden and Hannah, I think, were the only ones actually focused on their fetch quest. Uh, Juniper is just looking for a way to make money right now. <laughs> <coughs> now, let's see who to follow first. Fetch quest last. Juniper, Funny. how are you going to make your fortune? I guess it depends on... Uh... <clears throat> on if if anybody wants to donate some money to the cause to turn it into more money later. Here's my four gold. <laughs> it's yeah. all I have. Yes. Uh, as the voice of reason slash god slash uh, dragon creature, please remember that if you sell your bushel of grand raspberries, you receive 50 gold. That Unless is good. Unless you bargain for more. Yes. So from what I'm seeing on my sheet I only get where is it I only get my trader benefits if I'm buying or selling more than four items I only have one berries I should definitely well, there sell are that more than four berries. they're one bushel yeah. we had a but second bushel from the day we before ate right? it. oh we when ate it ate, and also right. they only last for 24 hours because then he'd be back to then she'd be back True. to rotting fruit True Which true. is not where we I'm were going. Trying to this get time. out of the fruit market. <laughs> <laughs> I want durable goods. Are, are, you, are, you, are you saying you don't want a repeat of Pear Gate? Are you saying you don't want Raspberry Gate to join? I the really fray? don't. I really do not. They will find you. Juniper, Juniper they lives in, will find in you. Twice. Oh boy. <laughs> we're gonna have to go back that way. You're right. Oh gosh. We're gonna get found again. And then again. And again. Stop. Uh, so, as as players, does anybody want to donate some money or not? I I could if you yeah if you need. I, I would give you my four gold. I would love to, but I'm very distracted by kids. <laughs> yeah, we could uh, we could do Lily's my gone. thing later uh, after gone. after you guys are are doing your things and just roll around to mine at the end then. No. If that makes more sense. No. Well, if you're if you're able to like bargain a good price with the raspberries and then we can cover the difference if you you said you wanted to buy like 100 gold worth of stuff i mean theoretically however much i buy i'll be able to make more off of because my my ability lets me get uh like a percentage increase to however much we pay for it basically do you want to see what you can get from the raspberries then and then that'll give us an idea of what we yeah. need to cover let's do that <clears throat> Alright. Where are you going for this? So, uh. Dwarven children. <laughs> Hang on, I'm doing everything sideways. <laughs> uh. D dinner. Wharf. Cart. <laughs> I should be a weather person. This is really hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, no respect for that career. And, and now, and, and now we turn from our local news over to local weather with Anik. Would you like to inform us about what the conditions are for our party? Are we screwed? Are we cats who need to be herded? Let's find out. Yes, and yes, Hana. Thank you. Local temperature seventy degrees and muggy. I hope What's that in for session? another clammy day. Uh, so, Juniper. Yes. Where? Let's see, uh, is there anywhere that looks like a shop? Oogie! Okay. I'm sorry, the dog's destroying the green screen. Come here, yes. back here. Away! 
Right, there it's fixed ish. Oh, um, there is an actual shop which is here ish. Um, but there's also just a lot of um, uh, like street vendors and people weaving outside of their houses. Cool. I'll go find a street vendor because I feel like that's my type of person actually. Okay, uh, well, there's a, a, an option. There's, um, you see, that weaving is apparently just everybody's thing. It's like not just the men or just, not just the men, women or kids. It's just everyone. You see uh, little children weaving little table runners. You see uh, two or three adults working together to make this giant basket um, that actually already has like four little feet somehow. You're assuming they're like weaving a clawed tub. Wow, amazing. Uh, I'll go over to the the group of adults then, okay. um, and uh, and you know I've got the uh, the bag of of delicious raspberries, and I'll just sort of say, oh, I see that you're you're weaving a beautiful basket here. Wow, this is amazing. Oh, thank you. It's a family craft. They're talking and weaving. There's very minimal eye contact. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. And I'll say, you know, uh, I happen to be a traveling merchant, and if you're looking for something to hold in these beautiful baskets of yours, I brought these uh, delicacies from the uh, the home of the Grassland Dragons, and I like pull out the uh, the raspberries and like hold them out so that they can like smell them. <laughs> um. Yeah, the, the, the adults are remain fairly focused on their tub weaving. I mm -hmm. never thought I'd use those words in conjunction, but here <laughs> we are. <laughs> um, but you see some of the the, uh, the kids going, oh, Mommy, Mommy, those were delicious. Can we have those? Yes, get them. <laughs> so you, uh, have, you have the youth hooked. They clearly sweet. have had them before and remember that they're Delicious. All right, I smoothly Literally. pivot over to selling to the kids, <laughs> and uh, <coughs> I think I can make a negotiation roll. Get them you can as well. Done. With a plus one. It's like when stores put the candy next to the checkout stand, because that's where the parents have to wait with the children. Uh, mm -hmm. Or at knee height, because that's yeah, where knee height, because that's where the what? children's eyes go. Yep. Come on. Juniper. Commercialism and marketing and action. Yeah, I got a. Oh my god, this is a lot. 13 Wait, plus why is two, it plus 15. I, oh, I, it shouldn't be plus two. It should only be plus the, one. I must have so messed up. It should be 14s. Yeah. Excuse me, dogs. Sorry, rioting. Uh, that is a very good check, actually. Yeah. Um, so... I told you guys I was good at this. <laughs> <laughs> I can do something. You, so you have. I've got one job on this trip, and I'm damn well gonna do it. <laughs> you see those um, children like swarming you, and um, before you've made the official sale, they're already grabbing handfuls, and you just see one of the uh, the teenagers. Oh. Uh huh. That's fine. Yeah, I'm definitely like. I'm you so know. sorry. We'll. Um, apparently, we're buying these. <laughs> oh great, perfect. Well you are so generous to be helping out your, your younger siblings. That is just mm -hmm. what I love to see. At least I don't have to cook dinner today. Exactly. Just have them eat berries. What's the worst that could happen? So many things. That <laughs> she gets this far away look in her eyes. <laughs> How much sugar in these berries? <laughs> it's fruit sugar, it doesn't count. Yeah, it's I'm good telling for myself. You. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, so she breaks out this little, it's a lockbox, but it's made of like, um, very sturdy, like bamboo-ish mm -hmm. Um, and she, okay, so, what do I owe you? Let's see, that's a question I don't actually know the answer to. As you twice. Player. What is it? Told you twice, it's 50 gold. You said it was 50, but what do I get for, for doing well with the check? Well, what mm. are you telling her that you want? What are you going for? You may or may not agree with your first option. Okay, okay. Are you are you aiming high or are you going reasonable? Like, that will depend on what I tell you. Okay. I think I'm going high. Yeah. I think that's more fun. 
it's more, more Jennifer. like what I would do. I was about to say, it's more in character. Jennifer yeah. needs this. So she's I definitely like silver. really hyping this up. I need a win. And the book it just says it increases your business opportunities. Interesting. It's very yeah, vague. but it's also it, um, increasing your business opportunities is uh, not just price, but also selling stuff to people that would normally be interested in buying in mm. general. Nice. But also like opening doors and That's cool. uh, meeting other merchants. It's not just X amount on top of what the book says you'd get. There's also mm -hmm. a, would you like to come join us for drinks tonight at the Trader's Palace? You know, that sort of stuff. Yeah, cool. You also got a, a very overwhelmed mom or, and or sibling taking care of kids interested in just getting them off her back. So. Yeah, that's great. Uh, so I think as we are uh, as we are chatting about the price, um, just you know, because Juniper likes haggling because it's like the the done thing where she's from. <laughs> Business uh, and a hobby. Yeah, uh, she is also saying, uh, you know, is there is there anywhere um, I'm looking to uh, to do like a nice bulk order of some of these wonderful uh, craft goods, these woven goods you have here. You know, who would you recommend uh, that I talk to who's like really just the best artisan in town? Um, well, here, hmm. so the artisans don't deal in bulk. They make one oh, of the kind of unique pieces. Huh? Okay, okay. I can see that. Um, but more along the bulk order, um, our family has has a showroom slash warehouse. You could you could Ooh. go have a look there. I would love um, to. You get bulk discount if you buy five, ten, or fifteen items. Um, anything over fifteen becomes a special order. Perfect. Well, that is so been it's been so nice to meet you, and I'm like shaking her hand and introducing myself. What was your name again? Uh, I'm gonna ask Lily. Inez, what's this NPC's name? Oh God. So it's a it's a teenager type uh, person. Late teenager. Late teenager. Someone who's like very seriously considering moving out out of their home right about now. Uh -huh. <laughs> How about her name is Primrose. Primrose. Oh. Distinctly unswampish, and I love it. Yes. Primrose, well, you definitely belong in a, a nicer locale than this muggy swamp, right? Oh, I'm sure no. you'll be taking your journey any year now. Oh, preferably yesterday, but, you know, <laughs> preparations need to be made. Oh, I, yeah, believe me, I know. I say, <laughs> having been terrible at making preparations. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I will, uh, I will go check that location out. Thank you so much. Um, excuse me, Juniper? Mm-hmm. I still haven't paid you for the berries. Right, of course! That was so silly of me. This is this is her shrewd negotiating tactic. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Juniper what was... I forget exactly what we did agree on. Let me see. Was it 70? 70? 70? Something like that? Ugh, last traveling merchant only charged a 60. I know, and... The thing about that is, these berries, right, are not just any random old raspberries. These are actually from the personal hoard of a grassland dragon, or, or you know, right next to that. Anyway, uh, and you wouldn't believe the trouble we had to get in to get these. Like, there was a whole... I tell the story about being lifted up on the magic plant and everything. Grassland dragon adjacent berries. <laughs> so, just very close to the grassland <laughs> So close to the grassland dragon. <laughs> Within the, miles, certainly. In, in the biz, yeah. we refer to it as the G-Dab. The yes. G-Dab, the grassland dragon adjacent berry. The G-Dab. <laughs> um, so, uh, Primrose herself doesn't seem particularly impressed, but you have this crowd of children All the going, kids are eating it up. Yeah, yeah. Really? <gasps> Is the dragon going to be mad at us now? I don't want to live on a plant. I already live on the water. <laughs> no, you guys love plants. Look at that big lily pad over there. It'll be great. It'll oh, be so fun. I don't like the lily pad. I have to sing when I'm on the lily pad. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> well, I promise I will make you sing. Meanwhile, uh, Primrose is just sort of going, you know what, Juniper? It isn't my money. 75? 75 it is! Handshake. <laughs> Handshake. Oh. <laughs> just 
going to hear about that one over dinner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Water off a duck's back. <laughs> Pleasure okay. doing business with you. Quite, Juniper. Maybe I'll see you once I strike out on my own. Maybe you will. As she just sort of, like, grabs the raspberries, grabs a small bowl, leaves it with the tub-weaving adults, and just puts the big bag in front of the kids going, Be good for an hour. I'm going to have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I appreciate the legal drinking a- age is not that high. <laughs> it really isn't once you live in a swamp. <laughs> I appreciate this is not the system where currently we have the like Telltale Games icon going over the top of it of like Primrose will remember this. Primrose will remember this. <laughs> yeah. Because because that first town, the whoever had to clean up the pears, they are certainly in the. This person will remember who did this. Oh yes, oh, no, yeah. there's a whole decision tree with how soon they're going to find Juniper. Oh, <laughs> oh, <boy>. Again, <laughs> clock yep, ticking. Yep. No, wait. Wholesome. <laughs> I can do this, guys. I swear. You're great. At yes, it. you every, can do Every it. scum and villainy and Blades in the Dark player is just imagining the clock mechanic where it's <laughs> slowly filling in over time. Yeah, and I, I also have a little corruption track down here. Huh? <laughs> I barely lied to that person. Barely. <laughs> barely Would you lied. even call it lying? Yeah, it was just, I technically said everything that was true. <laughs> you know, anyway, uh, you get 75 gold. Uh, Primrose is using berries as babysitters and has also left to the uh, house with the mounted dinner. Nice. Mounted dinner. I know, I'm using a lot of words together that I don't usually use together, but it's part of the fun <laughs> of this game. So, Juniper had a uh, successful business dealing. Fern, yes. what are you up to? I'm gonna look for someone doing their craft that looks measurably nice and interested in their surroundings. Okay. And talk shop. Okay. So, a lot of people are doing... Um, what's the word? Conventional weaving. Yes, but I want. But the if artist. you exactly, if you if you walk just a little bit onward and you ignore the cloth and the tub and the baskets and the boxes and blah blah blah, blah you find someone who seems to be doing some kind of magical weaving slash weed origami, and she has this whole collection of woven folded. Walking, read animal figurines. Awesome. They all seem to be just a little bit animated. Hi. Oh. Hi, my name is Fern. I'm on my journey and I am an artist of myself. I do crochet and what you make is amazing. And I Thank just- Thank you. Labor of love. Yeah, I can see that. And I was wondering, um, does anyone in your village uh, ever try crocheting like soaked vines or something? What's crocheting? <gasps> Do you have like 15 minutes? I can teach you. I mean, sure. I don't have a lot of people currently dealing with shop business. So I will take 15 minutes and, and find some vines that have been soaking and are really pliable mm-hmm. and make it like a giant crochet square, which is really easy. And like, this she's is what I do. She's looking at your crochet hook, like, so you don't just use your hands? Uh, n- well, you can actually, but then you have to have a third person because you have to, yeah, you need three of them. Ah, that seems impractical. So where do you get one of those? And she's pointing at your giant crochet hook. Well, my father made this for me, but if you have anyone who's good with like wood and shit, it's not that hard. It just needs to go up and then down a little and then up a bit. She sort of starts sketching your crochet hook in one of her little notebooks. (laughs) Uh, Doesn't add you to the sketch, just the crochet hook. 
Okay. And, and she just sort of looks at you and sort of goes, "You're covered in juice." I know. I had a. I had like a bad morning, and I, I. I'm a bit scared to go in the water because of all the dinner swimming around. And dinner. Yeah. That's oh, with the big ones with the yeah. Big... I'm, Someone told I'm... me they were called dinner. Yes. Yes, they are. <laughs> um, but, well, uh, I told you some of mine. Can you teach me some of yours? Not, uh, I can't be as good as you in, like, five minutes, but can I, like, the basic? How do you make stuff do that? Um, and she'll take you out towards, uh, a little bit more around the back of where her area is, and she shows you how she puts, uh, big flat leaves together. Um, before she she folds them uh, into little she she does the basic one so she gives you like a little frog um, so, okay so if you do this with dried fronds they hop on their own but what I like to do and you see her cast a spell on uh, the folded frog and it starts hopping around the pond on its own so you're like magic oh yes it's very helpful I I can imagine um. I, I can just, like, crochet big things and hit things. I mean, hitting things is very useful. It helps you with dinner. Exactly! That's what I thought. Um, so, uh, I made this. How did I do? <laughs> Roll me... Dex int. Int! For fuck's sake. You have to follow complicated instructions. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be int? Seven! Seven! It's fairly passable, actually. It clearly doesn't hop. Um, your lines aren't very crisp. You, you forgot the backfold a few times. So some of the corners are a little wonky. But all in all, it is recognizable as frog. That's well so cool. Uh, also, I think I probably asked her her name, but as the player is very tired, I forgot. <laughs> um, well... I'm gonna stick with the theme, and I'm gonna call her Katniss. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Katniss. Um, is there maybe do you have like some castoffs or something I could bring back to my village to show people, or something that didn't work out as much? I don't really have any money left. I gave it to my friend, so I can give you this crocheted hat as a trade. Oh, cool! I have nothing of made of crochet, and she puts on the hat and you get like the the you know how they usually have like the b rack of things with flaws and imperfections mm -hmm. and she said oh yeah just pick something from the shelf what do you pick from the shelf something that looks like dinner <laughs> all right you pick a folded <laughs> dinner um this one's extra fun it's, it's probably on the b shelf because one of his legs is all wonky um, but she actually used a dyed type of reed for it, the fluffy tail. Oh, I love it! Thank you so Hold much! Dinner. You have now a uh, paper dinner. Well, reed dinner. Katniss? Yes? I'm starting to get the feeling that it's not actually like full dinner, right? I mean, as long as people know what you mean, does it matter what it's called? Wow. I never thought of it like that. <laughs> it's a roast by any other name, smell as. This confuses Fern to no end. <laughs> <laughs> she sort of gently guides you out of her shop while you're c contemplating the meaning of words and language. <laughs> Thank you, bye. Okay, uh, we're gonna do Lily real fast and then we get to the actual fetch quest for why, why your party came to this place in the first place. Lily! Yes. So right. I've, I've wandered over to this, to this tent, like very cautiously, trying to not make it like that much noise, but I have big, big boots on. So. All right, so you've gone full creeper towards the children. Well, not creeper. Just like me, like with like my hands like this. Uh huh. So full creeper towards the children. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> so it, there's one girl in the corner crying uh, because her skirt's the wrong color. Uh, there's one boy crying because his skirt's the wrong color. Neither of them has considered swapping skirts, which would solve the problem. Uh, there's a bunch of little girls sort of going like this, very unenthusiastically, uh, completely out of the rhythm. Their dance teacher is out in front of them going, and they're going the opposite direction at all the right times. Um, and right at the front is a boy in an amazing grass skirt, and he is nailing that dance routine. He's getting all the QTEs, right? He is. <laughs> boy. Um, okay. So I... Uh, is there like a song playing while they're doing this? Uh, no, they're still in the clapping, trying to get the measure state before they're even going to consider adding music to confuse these kids more. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Okay. It's still going, and two, three... No. <laughs> two, three... <sighs> Other left, other <laughs> left. I um, I think I'm just gonna like, as if we're looking at like the map, I'm going to like be at this house with the the dark um uh the the dark roof, mm -hmm. dark tiled whatever roof, um. Yes. And I think I'm just gonna like across from that. I'm just gonna sit like with my with my my uh, my legs dangling from the uh, from the walkway, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna sit and I'm just gonna like listen and just watch a little bit and just try not to be too creepy, but also <laughs> probably being a lot creepy. <laughs> I think by the time you're you're done creeping towards them going like this while wearing very heavy boots and just sitting and chilling it's already a little less creepy mm -hmm. um at some point one of the um what you assume to be like assistants or assistant teachers actually convinces the crying children that if they swap outfits that then the one who wanted the other kind of green has the right kind of green. It's all green to you, but apparently it's a very big deal to have the right kind of green. Yeah, duh. I mean, I understand that Lily <laughs> does not, but I understand. <laughs> um, and so when they do that, I kind of like, I kind of giggle, maybe a little too loud, but because that's something that Lily's kid would, kids would totally do. So yeah. she's, she's kind of gigg giggling at that. Um, yeah. The, the little boy in front has um, memorized this dance routine, is rehearsing a solo, and in the meantime, the teacher has moved on to five, six, seven, other left. <laughs> For the love of everything that is holy and good in life, other left. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna quietly go over to like. I'm not gonna go on to the lily, the lily pad because then I would feel like I'm like invading a space that I'm not supposed to, and so I'm just gonna like quietly be on the walkway, and just um, trying to get this this person's attention, and I'm just gonna say, "You're doing absolutely great," and um, thank you for giving me like a small bit of joy in this in this journey. Thank you so much. Um, you don't know how much this means to me, but it does a lot. So thank you so much. Keep on keeping on. You're doing great. Um, yes. <laughs> sort of happy, but confused and a little bewildered until she realizes, oh yeah, no. good luck on your travels. Thank you. Um, and then I'll very awkwardly, very quickly, like, it's like a, it's like a quick walk. Like a like a very fast walk. Heel bolto, uh, heel bolto, heel bolto. Yep, 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 yep. Exactly that. And she just like walks off and then like kind of kind of looking back a couple of times, but then realizing, wait, we have like a fetch quest we should get to. I should not be distracted. You should have a fetch quest. <laughs> yep. So I'm going to ask uh, uh, Waden and Hana to have a uh, brief in-character conversation while I deal with one of my crying dogs, and then I will come back, and you will probably manage to find Ingeborg. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, Miss Hana, um, I 
this just occurred to me, but I am still covered in mud, and I was hoping maybe we could make a bit of a good impression on um, Ingeborg before we meet them. Is I know you did something for the tea shop owner before. Is, is, is there, there any way you can help, help me? me? Mm, I don't know, dear. I know it's a bit of a mess and kind of he's trying to still brush the mud off, but the tunic underneath is starting to stay a little. And... It, uh, I would say for both out of character and, and in character, she would make clear I would only be able to fix the hairstyle and the hair color mm. and makeup if that's desired. It wouldn't be able to do too much of the like cleaning per se. It'll just give sort of a spruced up look. Oh, okay. It won't clear the mud, unfortunately. Yeah, um, it, it'll definitely, like, if your hair is, like, doing the, like, like humid, like, just plastered to you effect kind of thing or any of that, she would be able to help with some of it. He has it tied back a bit, so he's not as worried about his hair. Um, and then maybe he might kind of shake it out a little bit and make sure he doesn't have any, like, <laughs> large clumps of mud and uh, ties it back up. Um, Here. Dear, I, I also think, if I'm being perfectly honest, they wouldn't mind seeing someone with a bit of a mess. <laughs> this is a place that does seem to get mess isn't uh, too big of a deal. Okay, I just... Uh, I don't know, I may be a little nervous. I don't know why. <laughs> I advise. From what I understand, you haven't really been many places. Uh, yeah, that that would be true. This is actually... This is my first time really out of the castle, and um, I thought that I had learned a lot. Um, I graduated, you know, top of my class. Uh, granted, there weren't very many of us. Um, it's, a, it's a small group, um, which means I got lots of one-on-one -on -one training and education, and I felt very prepared, but every day is something new, and... I just, I don't know how you have the patience to take it all in and take it all in stride when it just sometimes gets so overwhelming. Well, dear, you just think about what you just said. Every day has a new thing, new way to teach you something new. That's the point of doing this kind of thing. If we knew everything, if we knew out knowing everything, then there wouldn't be anything to learn from a journey. It'd be rather boring now, wouldn't it? You're right, I guess. I, I don't know, my... <laughs> My parents always told me stories of their journeys and, you know, these big, great encounters and, you know, battles and meeting dragons and all these wonderful things. And I guess we've done a little bit of that, but it, it just seems so like it's a lot more of the little things that, you know, they don't mention along the way of learning how to you know, push a boat through a river and <laughs> how to find your way through a bog, you know, I guess. They never mentioned those parts, and I, I didn't realize how much work, I suppose, goes into it. Life, life and a journey tends to have a lot of work, and I'm sure you did your own kinds of work with all you had to learn. That's its own work in its own right. But yeah. sometimes a new place needs a new skill set, and sometimes a new place requires learning a new bit of work that can be quite a lot. To be fair, first few uh, day out traveling was quite wonderful, but the actual travel was a bit wearing on me. And uh, I'm still getting my travel legs back to me. It's been a while since uh, well, since I've had good company to travel, to really do anything or when... go anywhere with. But <laughs> When was we the learned. last time that you traveled? Mm, several months. It was a fair bit of time since my husband passed away that uh, I really even left the home. I, I I was very blessed to have some friends who would do their best to come and offer me support and food and things of that sort, but I wasn't very good at taking care of myself for a while. It was... <laughs> I've, I'm not always cheery, if that makes sense, and I'm not always patient, if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, I... I don't know if I can imagine you not being cheery and patient. You've been so delightful on this journey, and I, I've really appreciated having, I guess, 
I don't know, it, it makes me feel a little more at home here. When... Oh, well, then you're at least listening to me and Lily a good amount in that case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just, I guess I was, I was very excited to go. I'd been waiting for a really long time. I was, I was supposed to go last year, actually, but, um, my brother was on his journey. He's, uh, we're the same age. We're, we're twins, I guess. Um, and he was technically born first, so he got to go on his journey before I did, and I had to I guess, sit around and wait, and I tried to study, and I tried to prepare for everything that could possibly happen, everything that they had told us about while waiting for him to get home, and I just feel like everything that I could have possibly thought of hasn't helped yet, and I, you know, I, like you said, I, we're all good at something, but I feel like I haven't found that thing yet, and I thought I would by now. But that can also be a good thing. You haven't found it yet, which means we're all waiting as a group, and you are waiting for a pleasant surprise to come any day now. I never thought of it that way. That's actually really... That's, um, that's how a lot of things go. I can I can be sad that my husband passed away, and I can, or I can be happy in knowing that I had many years of happiness with him. And that I might have many days, many weeks, or maybe years of happiness with all of you too. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I imagine she kind of looks in the direction of the lily pad, even if she doesn't exactly know where Lily's gone. She's like, some of us are a bit scattered for different reasons, but. We seem to get along well enough, and we seem to try and watch out for one another as we need be. Yeah. Maybe there's more happiness to be found, and maybe there's maybe there's a moment where a little thing like just being a, a bit grimy and a bit covered in mud isn't going to mean too much to someone in a swamp where there's water and muck around. Okay. I. Yeah, yeah, that actually that makes me feel much, much better, like, more than you probably... No, I, I really appreciate it, Hannah. You have some skills, I'm sure you do. And if you, have, if you don't think they've been shown yet, well then I'm sure someone else in the group is, believes they either will be, or they have been already, or you're just waiting to surprise us. Either yeah. way, we have a positive to look forward to. And we have a task we need to get to. Yeah. Someone is yeah. sick and we need to help. Oh gosh, oh gosh, yeah. Oh, we really... I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, we gotta hurry. Um, sorry for yeah. wasting all that. No, I... She, she, like, she, like, takes... She, like, takes... Like, like slightly, like, pokes you with one of the jangly bottles that she keeps around. She's like, hush. Uh, yeah. Stop fussing. Okay, yes. <clears throat> <laughs> she, like, of... hooks her arm around you to do the old lady walk thing. Just falls into line. Say, she, does, Anna. she does still jingle like Zelda, basically. Jingle basically. like Link. Yeah, I, I, I am Stuff. jingly jangly. I am a mound of walking jingle jangle everywhere. Yeah. He, fall, he okay. falls into line with Hana as we head back to, or forward to wherever. We start heading in the direction of trying to find... Wherever. Uh, I was about to ask, so uh, you're, you're um, sharing wisdom and, and life lessons. Where are you actually going? I did actually want to go to... Uh, I think if it seemed like kind of a rowdy spot, where the folks were heading over to the dinner, it seemed like. It I think in her mind. It's pretty chill. A lot of it's, them. It's chill. Um, so there's food being served, like chunky stew. Uh, there is um, a number of bottles on every table that look like they're probably used to contain alcoholic stuff. Um, but there's just, it's it has a very communal feeling. Um, like a lot of people are sharing tables. Um, you don't have like the the little separate tables you get often. They they have those long communal tables where people are just hanging out together. There are some people playing cards. There's uh, there's a dice game. Um, there's children underfoot. There's a few dogs. Um, some of the children are toting around those really big totes that they have to hold two hands that are croaking at them angrily. Um, yeah, it seems like a family hangout, and then. A little bit more towards the back where there's like this little 
like the druid swamp version of a tiki bar um is where more of the, the teenagers and the 20-somethings are hanging out that they're like they don't want to deal with the family but they still want to hang out in this area we're, we're too cool to be around our family but we also we love them and care about them and want to be around a family yes. we can't be seen being around our family exactly yeah. that area is there sort of like a barkeep or anyone who's going around serving people or is it just more folks or have a communal sort of like it's more like there's tables with things on them that people can grab from um and people will like take food for others but there's no like staff okay i i think she will go not to the teenage section she'll just go to one of the other tables uh, and just sort of just try and get the attention of just someone there if there's anyone if there's any sort of like head position of the table Regardless if there's, they're not the head of the table, but they just have physically that spot on the table, mm -hmm. she'll just sort of get the attention of someone. Yeah, there's um, at the head of uh, the, the table nearest to you, um, there is this huge woman, um, probably as wide as she would be tall if she stood up, um, wearing, like, wearing very nice clothing from the region, um, but she's like, being attended by generations of what you assume to be her family. She's clearly like the matriarch um, who is treating this a little bit like her personal bingo spot. Um, so, you know, the youngest one is fetching a bottle of stew. Two other ones are marking things off on her card for her while she's supervising them. Uh, she's helping one of the ones on the left with like a coloring mat going, to be yellow oh make it pink I don't care. um and she's clearly just this is her area this is this is her place this is she this seems is... very grounded here even though she's in a swamp with water metaphorically grounded <laughs> literally metaphorically grounded. Swampy. Spir spiritually grounded <laughs> she hana would just sort of walk up and just try and get her attention like to speak just your throat <clears throat> oh hi oh god you look warm and tired sit down let me get one of these toad pools to get something to drink for you <laughs> she scoots over one of the younger ones to make it make a seat for you uh, there's already one running off to get like a batch of fresh water sit down sit down oh god. you don't look like you're used to this weather at all do you sit, sit, sit. Oh, it, it's it's been some time since I've had to travel and <laughs> prep appropriately for certain clothes. I've really only had the hat, and she has a very yeah. nice the the mushroom cap sort of hat that I forget. It's been a while since I've mentioned what it, <laughs> the hat she's wearing. Her uh, Hana Sun hat is sort of styled after I think it was like a, a 1890s or like 1920s like Japanese mushroom cap mm -hmm. kind of style sun hat. Yeah. So. She just sort of like takes it off. It probably would, like, just by its design, it probably wouldn't look that out of place in some parts of the. No, spot. it it looks okay. It just doesn't do much against because no. the heat isn't from direct sunlight. Yeah, it's, so you, it's you the have the you humidity. have the damp ring of sweat and the, the damp hair and. Yeah, the, it's the humidity and everything that's just like I. The uh, we're at that gets you. Yeah, it's one hundred and fifty percent humidity, and that makes no yeah. sense. But that's where we're at. That's there what is, it feels there like. There is water. You, yep. <laughs> there, there is water. <laughs> Soupy. But she sort of just sets things down. She takes off. She's probably long taken off any of the traveling cloak and tried to unbutton. And you see just simple, like. I assumed you all left at least one layer of clothing on the cart at some point. Yes. Yeah. And um, be like, it, it's been some time, but we're here as part of a larger group. Um, this is mm. my this is my traveling companion. This is Waden. Uh, hi. Clemente. He's a rather kind, lovely fellow who's helping me get through some of the area. Judging from your description, I'm assuming not related to you. Oh, no, Unfortunately, no. <laughs> I, I, I'm not blessed to have had uh, children, to my great dismay. Well, I have a few leftovers. Do you want one? <laughs> I would take one if, it, if we had the supplies and such. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid they'd come running back. Oh, it must mean they're either loved or they're attached. The two are closely related. True. Also, their mothers might have issues with this. What are you looking for? So, meanwhile, so, uh, you're you're both being served big glasses of uh, like very cold, very clear water. 
I'm refraining from adding straw hats, even though I'm dying to. <laughs> Little umbrellas on. <clears throat> oh, straw hats in oh, the cups. I thought cup. I thought yeah. you meant the the kids were wearing straw hats. So I, I was like going like full like bit of like uh. A like piece of straw. Not, not hate. Yeah, like a yeah. piece of straw in yeah. their mouths and just no, like the sorry, food. not much straw here. I was thinking of those like those little janky umbrellas people put in cocktails, but then made of yeah. like reed straw. Mm -hmm. I mean, that makes sense. That's a really lovely idea for yeah. just flavor to the whole place. I love that. But so um, we're here uh, actually to try and help out someone, and we're looking for we're looking for someone in particular who might help. Someone of a similar persuasion to myself. Uh, I do work in herbology and things of that sort, and I'm looking for someone by the name. Uh, um, Ingeborg Jonasson? Yes. Uh, oh, Ingeborg. Ingeborg. Wow, you're Ingeborg. right. She is of your persuasion. Also not originally from around here, so accurate. Um, so <clears throat> she sort of leans back in her chair and points. So you go that way for about five minutes, and then when you see this really big willow tree, you take a right. When you get to that next little hut, you take a left, and then I promise you, you can't miss it. So if I might have that one more time. So five minutes this way? Yes. Right at the willow tree. Right at the willow tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Left at the hut. Left at the hut. And you will know it. I swear it's like being back on the east coast again. This is the exact directions I'm given when I go to the east coast. You just have to throw in uh, past the McDonald's and the three like palm trees. And a second there. Starbucks after the dispensary. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But <laughs> just say, well, thank you for that. I'm, uh, do you know if she's seeing anyone today? It's kind of for an important matter. We're trying to get something from her that that would help someone who is quite sick. Well, knowing Ingeborg, she will be on her own, surrounded by cats, doing whatever the hell she wants to do, just like every day. A woman after she my might own have gone heart. for a swim, but she'd be back by now. <laughs> a woman after my own heart, in more ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> Bit young for you, dear. Bit young for you. Oh, I'm. I'm already taken in some ways. <laughs> well, you know. Good for you. <laughs> I can't tell whether that was that was judgment or or she's like you know ah oh, you poor thing. Yes. Bless your heart. I love you. <laughs> Bless your heart. That's the correct answer. <laughs> she's like, well, thank you for the help. Is there anything that we can do to help? And she just sort of stares around at all of the kids. Is there anything we can do to make this even more comfortable for you? Oh no, I'm actually really content with my life as it is. I wish you even more happiness with the years to come in that case. And I will wish you a safe journey, and I hope your travels bring you everything you need. Thank you. And if I may say, you are quite beautiful, and it's lovely to see such a wonderful little woman again. Such a well-delivered lie. Thank you, darling. Now, off you trot. I, I think very faintly she... You, Probably, maybe Wade in hears this, but maybe not the woman does. Probably Hannah says, I mean, you are my type. <laughs> <laughs> Just carries on. <laughs> Tiny you can hear just, just really, you can hear this Aurora's laughter behind you. <laughs> Probably heard you. Probably taking it like a compliment. All right. Hey, All right. I, um, I think we try and convene with everyone. Does that make sense to you, Wade in? Uh, yeah, if if they're done with their errands, we could all head over together. Um... Uh, let's let's go see if she's probably looking towards the lily pad. I hope Lily. Yeah, no, Lily's on her way back, uh, speed walking. Uh, Juniper is also on her way over, looking very chipper. And uh, Fern is looking a little bit befuddled as she contemplates language in all its facets. <laughs> I think I'm like tossing a coin into the air and then catching it as I jauntily walk down the. Yeah. Yeah, I just come walking over very fast and then you see me kind of like. 
Um, hi! <laughs> hi, uh, it looks like everyone had a good time. <laughs> Everything Did went you? well? No. What even are words? <laughs> oh, um. are, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Look, I made a frog. You oh. made a frog? Awesome. Oh, that's, like, that's actually... You made that? And I got that? moving dinner. Nice. Uh, what? That, so when she holds it up, you see um, the little dinner, which is what I'm going to call them now forever because I love it so much. Um, it has like one janky leg, but when she go holds it up like this and she tickles it on the belly just right, the tail trashes a little. That is... Is that... Is it magic somehow? That's... Well, it's moving. Yeah, it's magic. Oh, wow. You see, I also no... made this frog. I learned. You see nothing mechanical about the moving dinner. It's so That's amazing. Incredible. I traded mm. it for a hat. Oh, I think my this... magic could only do the opposite of that. I could probably make it stop no, moving, no, but that's no, not. No. Uh, that's not as good. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try that. <laughs> uh, does the dinner take up one space in my backpack? It does. It is a size one. A size one dinner <laughs> folded dinner folded dinner enchanted is... folded dinner it is magic it's not actually dinner you can't eat it but... dinner with a capital D it's a proper noun by now <laughs> well, that's the thing Lily Um, I asked about that and she went like well, what are words, and you know what it means, and I'm like, I'm a bit confused now, because, you know, my name is Fern, there's also a plant that's called Fern, so am I a Fern, or is a Fern a me, or... <sighs> me well, too! I'm also named after a plant, or the... No, it can't be the plant is named after me, they came first. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, no, exactly, so this is a dinner, but you can also eat a dinner, but you apparently can also eat these, but not this one, because... I'm tired. Well, I... a lily is also a flower. If you, if you. Yeah, I know. That's why it's so confusing to me. I never thought of it like that. And now I'm all. Well, I. My head is all full. I've never been confused. I know the difference between lily and fern and juniper and mm -hmm. the plants. So. We're gonna find a waiting helps. plant one of these days. Wait, and I know the difference between who lily is and what a lily is, but the well, fact I that think... it's the same word and it has. Lot well, of I think and means... I asked her what's this actually called because I thought it, it can't be called dinner and she said well it is dinner and it's also not dinner and what do you think and I got all confused and now you're confusing me too and you're well I think me. it means as you're much as no 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 it I think it means more because it's also your name and I think that makes it more important my name is not dinner <laughs> oh boy um my goodness. I'm also not a boy. I'm so confused. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, I'm never going to mention Waden's last name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. The boy who's named after a fruit. Yes. Um, but I'm frog and I love I, something and that's fun. And I told, I told someone how to crochet. Yeah, anyway, it's we're fun. doing things. Okay. I, I am going to note for the record. For folks who don't know, I, when I pulled the name Hana, one of the meanings is blossom. Yes. I know. So I it's know. A, mostly a party full of plants. I know. <laughs> hey, we're a plant-based party. <laughs> we're a very plant-based party. Yes. We Except are we're vegan. Dinner. Except when we're having dinner. <laughs> That's so confusing. <laughs> and you hey. also have a dinner. So we have chances for the dinner. We have a token fruit and several <laughs> flowers. Yep. Anyway, moving on. Also, please. Angela, yeah. don't think I don't know what you named your pen pal after. Oh no, that one was just I pulled. I, I think I might have just pulled names. Yeah, it's blossom in Japanese. Oh, that one is blossom too. Sweet. I and, gave her a fitting uh, last name. I'm assuming, oh. for the sake of time and yes. my sanity, that you're walking and talking. Yes, because... we're making yes, our way to the former, to not to the latter. Episode the willow three, tree and we still and not met the left. NPC you're going to meet. Returning at the willow tree and going yes. down to the. 
I, yeah. I, I also want to make it very clear it's a yes to the former of those statements, not at all to the latter of those statements. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. From right the middle when she's the hut. being talked down to, she might be not that smart, but she knows people, and she's being talked down to, and she's not. I, never mind. I think they're so generally not. trying to explain shit to you. <laughs> After you turn left at the hut, which looks like a tool shed. Um, has weird canvas bags outside that look imported. You uh, head a little further, uh, a little bit away from uh, the town proper of the Scarlet Pond and towards something that looks a little bit more like um, what's the word? Ridiculously fancy treehouse. Um, it has thank you Sorry, cocktail delivery. Uh, on ground level, it has a deck with lounge chairs, an area for fishing. Um, one of the dinners is sunning itself on the deck. There are uh, ramps and different kinds of ladders leading up. There are blooming vines. Um, there's cultivated plants all around. Um, everything is... Um, if Scarlet Pond was made by fourth level druids, this was made by an arch druid. Everything is just a little bit better and a little bit more extra and constructed just right. And you, you're pretty sure you know what she meant when she said, you'll know it. Mm -hmm. Um, there's also, for people paying attention in general, a number of uh, very, very large cats were walking around. Um, all kind of tan, little black spots. Um, I think in our world, we, we actually call them swamp cats. Nice. So th she, she apparently has um, pet wild animals. Yeah. So yeah, you're you're approaching what it could only be considered a mansion, basically. Is, is there a mansion. clear front door? <laughs> no, no, everything is landscaped and and just there's little winding paths and ramps and, and you get the feeling this isn't necessarily made to guide visitors easily to the living area at all. Hmm. It seems more to be made for the plants and the cats and someone who likes to hang out with plants and cats. Um, I basically just um, go Hello? <laughs> uh, in the Hello? Board? Two of the cats hiss at you. Of course they do. And I hiss uh, right back. <laughs> Dinner oh. wakes up and looks disturbed. <clears throat> oh, uh, don't, don't disturb those. I hear they don't let go. Um... Lily, really, the wait in is right. And, uh, we were told specifically, if they bite you, they don't let go. Oh boy, that's oh boy. That's fun to hear time. after you've been around one. Um, but after you yell for Ingeborg, uh, you see um, a woman coming bustling down one of the uh, wooden ramps, and she she is this very weird combination of completely out of place um pale very blonde um but dressed like a native uh c covered in freckles you know like those really really pale person that spent too much time in the sun so they end up covered in freckles and probably skin cancer at some point <laughs> Wear sunscreen, kids. It's good for you. <laughs> um, and she just comes bustling down one of these ramps. Um, her hair is done up in some complicated braid. Um, she looks, uh, despite the heat and the humidity, very fresh-faced. Has a cat under one arm, basket on the other arm. Uh, I wasn't expecting anyone. Deliveries go by the shed. Oh. Well, we're not here for a delivery. <laughs> I've never seen you before. Hello. Hi. Can I help um, 
Yeah, we're looking for Ingeborg. That would be me. Awesome. R Rachel um, sent us. Oh, really? That's the first time she, uh, she's contacted me in months. That's interesting. Come up, come up. And she turns around and goes into the structure, leaving you to navigate. Oh boy. Your way up. I follow her quickly. I don't... Do I? All right. Try and yeah. keep up with Lily, because <laughs> yeah. dinner sort of turns itself back around and starts sunning his butt again. Apparently, you've been approved by the lady of the house. Ingeborg, is that your dinner? Oh yes, we call him Bob. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Burn face down. Even worse. <laughs> We just start seeing re a reflexive nosebleed occur. <laughs> <laughs> ear bleed. Um, what do words mean? Anna will just try and like fall as closely as she can. She'll just try and keep her within eyesight. Yeah, same with Lily. Same, same. Yeah. So you enter this 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 area, and it's um, the inside is very uh, open area living. Um, there's more cats. The cats have like little walkways made around the top of all the rooms. Uh, she has an open kitchen. Uh, doesn't seem to cook much, even though the kitchen looks perfect. It is just, it's one of those show kitchens, you get the feeling. Um, she does have a very well stocked bar area, lounge deck. Um, it's just very, very nice. I um, mean, if you want to, you can pop down on some um, very nice looking sofas. It's I also noticeably cooler in here. That's are they like woven reed sofas? They are, uh, but if you, you you would expect them to be less comfy, but if you sit down on them, they're actually really mm -hmm. nice. They seem to have been very, they're very malleable. Mm. I think I might be like the only one who stays standing. I just like stand there with my arms crossed. Kind of just. Wade tries to uh, politely sit kind of near the edge of the couch um, and try not to get. He knows that he's dirty and covered in mud still, so he's trying not to track anything over this very beautiful looking living area. There is an <laughs> a, um, impressive amount of cat hair everywhere. That seems to be accepted. He's maybe also a little worried about too much of that sticking to him as well and making things <laughs> <There's> worse. <laughs> uh, so Ingeborg sort of puts the cat down on one of the seats and starts heading towards it. So what are we drinking? And what did my sister tell you? Um, I, I suppose um, to get to the chase, um, husband is quite sick and is actually she's in need of some help. Oh, I told her not to let him out. He is no good at herb gathering, and he tries it every time. Well, you, you uh, know, so, so... Okay, so this might seem like an odd question. Very long history. Not going to tell you all the stories. How many kids does she have right now? Um, I'm actually trying to remember two, how many kids. At three? least two. There was maybe. the one kid who was at three, the, the front. Recall. This is out of character. Mm -hmm. You saw out. two. One you helping two. and one strapped to her, yeah. but you right. know she mentioned others. That's I true. Think there's th I think at there were least... three more in the kitchen, at so I think three. there's in total five. That, you, that you've seen around about five. Yeah. So I say uh, about five. Huh. That we know of. Hmm? That we know of. Five, did you know? Well, it's more than last time. I'll send some more presents. And she starts, like, she grabs this basket and just starts adding stuff to the basket. Guess okay. we would be happy to uh, deliver that back for you, since we've got oh. a cart and everything. Uh, so, you said she needed help. What does she need help with? Oh, uh, it's called, uh, and he, like, you pulls out his ice journal. In your drinks? I would love, I love ice, ice, actually. Perfect, yes. So no, she thanks. serves this tray of cold drinks. And uh, Wayden's flipping through his journal to try to find where he wrote this down. Um, I believe it's called a 
King's Milk Salve, if you've heard of it. They said you would know what that is. Oh, wow. That's... Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go... I hope I have some. Wait. Her husband's sick enough that he needs King Milk Salve. She has five... Who's running the tea shop right now? Uh, there was this little boy. I think the word for this is she herself and also herself. And and the, the little boy who was trying to help. Yeah, they. Well, he was trying to. They've been she, learning, it seemed. She's a bit overtaxed at the moment. It's part of the reason why we're coming to try and help her a bit. You know, fault. it is so typical of her. She knows if she asks me to come and help her, I will come over there and I will help her. And what does she do? She finds a bunch of strangers because she doesn't want to afford the courier fees to get them. Drink your drinks. And she sort of walks into the next room and you hear stuff clattering about. Um, Hannah, you actually recognize some of the herbs she's like throwing over her shoulder, looking for whatever it is she's <laughs> looking for. Uh, and she shows throw up. Throw in like that, this... throw in that one, mix in that. Don't do that. That's for a party occasion. Uh, exactly. That one. <laughs> oh, that was a fun Saturday, but that is not for right now. <laughs> oh, I probably should have thrown that out already. Ah, me time. Maybe I can use the mold for something. <laughs> it's a so druid it's like, wine aunt is what we're looking at here. <laughs> a yes. druid wine aunt rich cat lady. Mm -hmm. Was my design for her, yes. I, I, I love, love her. you, Anik, Anik so much. <laughs> um, so it, it takes a little bit. Uh, you can finish your drinks in peace. Um, I'm going to assume because of the uh, like the, a kind of awkward atmosphere where you know you're in a show home and you just sort of Unless there's there's twenty other drunk people, you behave yourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't she, know how many show home. I'm just sitting here having my drink. Nice house. Contemplating words. There's a, there's some cats staring at you in general. Um, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> and she shows back up with like the the, the tiniest little tin. Um, and she puts it in the basket along with all the presents she gathered for all the kids. Maybe she has six of them. Adds another present. Um, but you can also see she's changed into travel clothing. Um, and she just sort of goes, right. I have all my stuff. So thank you for telling me. Um, I will be traveling back to Maple Ward myself. Uh, I'll run the tea shop while she does whatever she does and takes care of the new kids, which is at least two apparently. She should write me more often. I do care. She just doesn't think I care, but I care. So she pets one of the cats and goes, tell the rest to be good. Don't let Bob eat you. Um, and she starts just shooting drawers. Are you coming with us? Oh, no, I'm going without you. I'm much faster. I don't need a cart or nothing. I have transport. Are you okay? Did she pay you or? Well, we were well, doing a favor. Um, yeah. We've... It was like from the goodness of our traveling. But well, if you're that really being sad, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, a courier would be eighty gold. Why didn't oh, here take this? And she just gives you a little baggie. <laughs> it should cover your fees, and um, it's very kind that you were doing what you were doing. I appreciate people doing things out of the good. I have more money than I know what to do with. So uh, take that. Uh, don't stay in my house. I will be mad at you. Um, I'm gonna go yell at Rackle for not be telling me sooner. Oh, um, um, just, um, I, just small bow. <laughs> I just make a small bow. I just make a small bow and I say thank you so much. Yeah. And he walks uh, back to the kitchen, grabs this this travel container with a mysterious liquid, and goes, "I should not forget this." Uh, I think Hannah, if she's seeing that. Uh, Ingeborg was about to head out. Um, I think she'll say, "Would you, would you care to do an exchange of anything? I see you have quite a lot, and it's been a while since I've seen some of these. And I don't know if you'd care for this." And she pulls out like a, one of the nicer little herb bottles that she has with the Sunset oh. Heim apple. I don't. It's you, you and I know it's it's not particularly hard to find some of these, but I don't know if it's been a while since you've gotten one of these. I have to great. admit, dear, I, the apple, um, I have, but that bottle is adorable. It would look so good with the crystal collection. 
So, bottle and apple, and how about I give you... Uh, and um, she ends up giving you, like, a thistle, but with crimson red flowers. Here, this is why we call this area Scarlet Pond. I was wondering about that. It is a, uh, if you have your little list, Angela, it is a Daybreak Crimson Flower. Mm -hmm. Oh. Which is a level three herb from the swamp terrain, which is a powerful narcotic. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So laid back here. <laughs> so, so chill in Scarlet Pond, you guys. So just a so question. Just just a mechanical question. So does that mean I need to give up her the herb bottle as well, or is she just trading out the, the apple and the herb uh, for the crimson flower? She wants the, herb, the, the the she she doesn't even mind if you keep the apple. She wants the bottle. She wants the bottle. She wants the bottle. Hmm. It matches her crystal collection. <laughs> I wouldn't have a way to preserve them for longer than a day, but... Well, she can give you a more generic bottle. To put your in bottle was just pretty. Oh, she wanted... It, so, I, I guess I'm asking mechanically, would I still have an herb bottle after this, but I'm giving yes. her my specific one? You would You're have well. an herb bottle, but, like, the, the Tupperware version of one, and <laughs> you would give up your nice, pretty herb bottle. Uh, mechanically, think... they do the same. Okay, that that's all I'm checking. For, yes. Just to make sure Mechanically, that that's the they case. do the same. That's why I was Talking hesitating. Flavor. Otherwise, she would say definitely. And uh, she would. Uh, I think if she's just catching her, she's about to walk out because I'm getting strong, leaving quickly in a hurry yeah, vibe. Yeah, uh, this is very much an uh, older sister who is going to deal with things. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I feel that so much now. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> I think she would just say quietly, please. Please do try and take care of the bottle. It was my husband's. It, as you can see, I take very good care of the things I own. They well, mean a lot to me as well. Goes like the... <laughs> <laughs> cats Bless seem you. to be really chill as well. They Bless you and send our. <laughs> Bless you and send our regards to Raka. Uh, I will once I'm done. Um... Try, try not Doing to... my sisterly duty. I know. Try try not to be too hard on her. Like, if it means anything, you know, it means she must care about you a lot to not want to bother you. She's still wrong, but you Thank know. Thank you. Oh, I've been telling her this. <laughs> well, of course. You're still right. <laughs> but be right, be right gently if you can. I will go over there, I will give her the medicine, I will run her tea shop while she takes a break, and I will spoil her children so rotten she will curse my name to the high heavens, as is my job. She just, like, does a chink of what, uh, I didn't get to say it earlier for what the drink was, she probably has, like, super, super strong whiskey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just, like, she drinks people under the table, it's just no one's ever asked her. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you like if anyone else sips, it's just like, how? It's like, what? It's right. fine. Right. Oh, this is good. <laughs> That's it. Yes, she'll right. trade it, so I'll write that in. If, if we don't get right. the chance to visit again, uh, we wish her well. Um, oh, I'll let her know. I'll, I'm, sure she'll, I'm sure she'll be grateful. If she remembers you at all, she barely remembers to wash her hair sometimes. <laughs> Thank well, you. I'm going to take that for her. Oh, no, that is practical. Perhaps I should hire some. <laughs> so you see her, uh, she's just going to assume you're going to leave her house intact, and if you don't, she'll deal with it at some point. Um, and you can see her heading towards a little dock area where there is a much nicer, most likely much faster boat compared to the barge you came in on. Um, and she seems to be heading like in a more northwardly direction to get out of Scarlet Pond. So I think we are going to end today's session with uh, your little group looking a little bit befuddled as a uh, druid drunk wine aunt or elderly sister took away your fetch quest. <laughs> <laughs> Go deal with her baby sister, not asking for help in a timely manner. And we'll it's see fine. what you do next time. <laughs> Uh, mechanically, the little pouch she gave you has a hundred and twenty-five gold in it. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Jackpot. <laughs> Which is oh. what she would normally pay a courier for a rush delivery. Should I add that to our communal store as the quartermaster? It's that or it's 25 it each. Is there enough for me to buy a hat? I can buy you a hat. <laughs> okay, but well, I just want, like, accoutrements to go on my hat to make it more cute. I don't know. Never really seems to think my shoes are ugly. I like my shoes. <laughs> They're <Ooh>. a statement. <laughs> They're definitely a statement. They're a statement. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm tired. I'm a little drunk. Maybe we can stay over yeah, two, two, si two sips of, of wine on mix is enough to make everyone go a little bit. Oh, because you're also probably, even though you had your official water ration, just a little bit dehydrated after all the useless sweating. And I don't know if we ate enough, <laughs> maybe. You haven't eaten at we all had yet that, in, that, that you've told me. Maybe we can have dinner at the dinner. <laughs> Seems good. Yeah. I'd you be think they'll serve dinner? Trying some dinner. Yeah. Just don't eat Bob. <sighs> Alright, guys. We'll pick it up here next time. Yay. Yay. Scarlet Pond. Yay. Oh, we God. did it. We, we did, did it. Thing. We did the thing. First little quest. Check. So, would this be a good time to mention you level up? <gasps> yes. And Congratulations, that's awesome. Riyadama, level two! Thank yeah. you! Yay! What does that do? <laughs> what does it do? Say, please take the following week to level up your characters. I will be available for questions, but try and read it in the rules yourself first, because I haven't okay. yet eaten. I've only looked at my level up, because I level up with you. Mm. Even though you awesome. haven't met me yet, <laughs> I do I was get about to, to level say, up with you. Who? <laughs> Why, why, why do you get why do you get the benefits of all of our work? From the spirit, because she's a dragon. I have three D horns printed. I get something. Yes. Yes, you get cute three D <laughs> horns printed. You're treating this like it's a separate thing from the, the so good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, let's finish this off. I'm gonna keep talking to fill empty air as I look for my GM script because I'm supposed to say stuff as we outro. Um, I already forgot all the names, so I'm just gonna do a general thank you to the people who followed, because I know we had a bunch of new followers uh, today. Welcome uh, to the adorable wholesomeness that is Ryutama, which is a Ghibli movie, unless they forget their water supplies, in which case it's 72 hours. <laughs> <Whoopsie. laughs> <Don't> Let's <forget. laughs> I refilled our water, to be clear, since we are in the town. <laughs> Oh, thank you for stating this out loud, because you didn't say yes. shit to me yet. That's true. <laughs> uh, we have uh, Patreon to help support the channel. We have merch available at So Nerdware. Uh, we have a Discord where I also posted this map, as well as the previous maps, including one I made myself. Um, we have something coming up on what's new to the party, Actus Lingua Meha. Still can't say it right, even though I speak five languages, Spanish was never one of them. I apologize, I am trying. Uh, we will be going on a raid as soon as my producer tells me who we are raiding. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's your job. I have one. Uh, but while he's looking, you. we'll do a quick uh, trip around and do outros for everyone. And people shifted around in my Zoom, but I'm still going to go clockwise for me. Inez. Who are hey, you? I'm what do you do? I'm still first. Hi, it's me, your friend Ines. Um, I, uh, I am Ines. <laughs> so, um, I Words. do all kinds of things. Uh, like, I have a Twitch stream, which I'm going to get back into real soon. Ines666. And also, that username. Just look it up everywhere on like your social media, your Twitter, Instagram, whatever. You'll find me. It's it's Inez and then six six six. You'll find me. Uh, Twitter is basically just where I do rants and also 
make the funnies and sometimes scream or whatever, you know. <laughs> it's it's what I want. Twitter things. Yeah, you do Twitter things indeed. Um, how about streams? Like other kinds of streams? Saturday streams? So this Saturday I'm having another D&D stream. I guess I just incorporated the C team, a seafaring game. Uh, D&D fighting. And um, yeah, that's that's alternating Saturdays with this one being the one we play on. Um, that's it, I think, for me. Thank you. Angela! You snuck there, into everybody. my lower right corner. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, everybody. Uh, I'm Angela. I, and you can find me as the as phoenix 24 fem on Twitter or phoenix fem 23 on the Discord, where I frequent the Welcome to the Party Discord and chat about different things and give. I think the working brand I have now is aggressive <laughs> affirmation or aggressive kindness. It's one of the two. And uh, you can also find me in other spaces like Patreon or my Tumblr, even though I don't have access to it anymore, uh, as the philosopher fem or the philosophical fem, because. I have a brand and I stick to it, and that's just really gay trans stuff. And uh, you can also find me as a writer uh, for the recently published Spring Equinox issue of Art for Ourselves, where I wrote about transitioning uh, and going on to estrogen and processing the grief of my mom and femininity and all how all of those things are related because feelings. And uh, also Queer Queerly Yours podcast, where my partner and I, as a polyamorous, both trans, uh, interracial couple talk about relationship stuff in apparently very wholesome ways that people love to hear. Cause it's we so have good. The tab. <laughs> I really love that podcast. But yeah, I'm that's so bad pretty much wholesome. everything. Yeah. And also if you are someone who might want to, uh, commission me for, uh, either custom monster stats for 5e, cause that's the thing I'm apparently good at, or if you would like a campaign theme of some kind for your TTRPG, it doesn't matter the system, I am willing to work with you because I do good work. That's me. All right. Thank you. Alex. Hi there. Uh, I'm Alex. You can find me on Twitter at Zendaris, uh, where recently I got really into uh, hashtag WiseMind, created by Jay Dragsky, which is like a really surreal set of weird memes that all don't actually have any meaning, but then they do because people are making it up for it, which is really weird. If you uh, have seen that on tabletop Twitter and are extremely confused by it, I wrote a little primer meme to explain it. So that's uh, hopefully helpful. So are you meta-memeing? Yeah! Oh, for sure. Okay. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I made some okay. memes talking about the experience of running into that weird meme and being like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> it's uh, so 2020? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I also design games at zendaris.io. If you are a big fan of dragons like I am, and hopefully you are since you're watching Ryutama, I have a dragon romance game called Dragon Hearts that is really fun and easy to pick up. Also, I am on our Wednesday Unnatural Disaster stream playing a dragon uh, for Monster of the Week. It's almost the opposite of this character because instead of being like a sweet, nice merchant, I am like a big rowdy kick-ass dragon lady which is really fun and that is on wednesdays at 8 p.m eastern i just bought monster of the week i should run it sometime but i've mm -hmm. already run too much <clears throat> lana save me before i commit to another stream yeah she shouldn't <laughs> for her health and her marriage <laughs> <laughs> My name is Lana, you can find me as Lana Lacefer, which is down here in Dutch and unpronounceable and everything. Um, I'm part-time homeschooling two children, so there's not a lot of illustration going on, but I'm venting on Twitter a lot. And yeah, in, in normal times I try to be a children's book illustrator and like card, greeting cards and things I make. Oh, let me just show you. Because I don't have a lot of streams to do. I make things like... Mm -hmm. Oh, no, thank you. It's a sad pair. It's a very um, good pair. It's a good <laughs> pair. Uh, just remember, it's okay to be sad. And Clover will help you feel better. Clover's the best support goat. Mm -hmm. The goat I have just... Judges me. I have a witch with a goat familiar, and he's smarter than most of the party members. <laughs> 
right. He has a 24 in, in Pathfinder, okay? Sorry, Michael, save me Incredible. for myself before I start rambling. No, not a problem. Uh, my name is Michael. I'm at Michael Elliott. Uh, you can see it on the screen on Twitter and Instagram. I also stream uh, because quarantine has done wonders for my streaming career where I have all this free time. Uh, I am Admiral underscore Effort uh, on Twitch. And... Um, that's that's most of what I do right now. Other than this, every Monday. All right. Uh, I am Anik. My Twitter is at Anikster. Uh, also, lots of venting about stuff, mainly politics, because politicians suck in general, um, regardless of which country they're in. For some reason, it seems to be a universal thing. Um, However, there's also some art. I do watercolors. I ha also do commissions. I'm actually working on one right now. Ugh, bad lighting. Someone wanted orchids, so I'm suddenly learning how orchids work. Spoiler alert, they suck. <laughs> <laughs> but I will get this done, and I will make it. Um, I play a lot of role-playing games. A lot of them are offline, I'm, but I also play like nine different systems, and I love all of them. Uh, wholesomeness is very difficult for me. So Riyatama is my own personal chance at growth, because I normally run horror and Call of Cthulhu and just, I make people cry. <laughs> so, as someone who plays a lot as an X player, I have a hard time relaxing into this game because I, I just... <laughs> she keeps waiting for me to do something yeah. terrible because I always do something terrible yeah. to her. Yeah. I, Wholesomeness. This is this is my own personal attempt at wholesomeness. Uh, we'll see how long. <laughs> it's we are here well. beside you, guiding you. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm leaning you on you guys. You are not a lost cause. I'm it's gonna be fine. We promise if you need us to vamp in order to resist that impulse to just summon the three old ones, we'll, we have you here. Also, if you really I mean, what's need a game without Cthulhu? If you really need something awful, I'll just poke dinner. That works. I mean, we're three sessions without any combat. I think we're doing really well. Don't um, play with food. That's Wayden being like, hey, that thing that I'm good at that I haven't gotten to do yet. I'm sorry. As the attack point, type. At some point, the attack types will get something to do. But no, no, nobody poked dinner. So not it's been doing all right. Um, but yeah, I, I play a lot of games. And I still have like four evenings free this year. So if you want me to be on your stream, I can be ready in five minutes. I make up everything on the spot anyway. Don't listen to Angela. I'm fine. I can do this. I only need a little bit of sleep. Your scientists were, you, Anik was obsessed with the idea of whether she could do something. She didn't stop to think whether she should. <laughs> I, was, I was in a one shot on Sunday and I decided I needed a witch's hat. So I made one in two hours and I worked for the one shot. Sometimes you just gotta I do what you gotta do. I saw this on Twitter. It was amazing. Some days you just gotta get rid <laughs> of it. That was awesome. Sometimes that was a good head. But yeah, uh, I love playing games. Ask me to play games with you. I probably will. One of us will probably cry. It might not be me. <laughs> My Challenge rating. Um, I sent it in the Zoom chat, but we will be re Ugh, rating. Reading. Valdrian. Zoom chat. I have the last message oh, from Lana. Let me, I'll send it in Discord then if that helps. Probably, um, we're rating she was a, being a diva this last week. It's okay, a small group, uh, Valdrianth. Um, they're streaming, oh, what was their game called? I was just checking out earlier. You just sent me the new to the party link though. Oh, because I copied that to my clipboard for a different reason. I assume so. Because people are interested in New to the Party, which is also yes. a fun channel, by the way. It's our sister channel with lots of new people figuring out games. Not old hags like me who've been playing this for 20 years and are bitter. They're also an LGBT stream that is uh, currently running a game called Blades in the Dark. That oh, they do so every other Monday, so... Ah. Blades in the Dark sounds appropriately... It'll be a nice okay. shift not from what we're doing. Not wholesome. <laughs> not wholesome. I yeah, a little bit of a like 180. What we're so doing. Just go, go over there for a nice tone shift, but that's not yet for now. We are going to go uh, visit uh, Valdian. Take care, everyone. We love you very much. Thank you for tuning in. We will in. see you next week. And Bye. we'll see if this group of idiots finds a new quest. I mean, it is lovingly. Lovingly. It'll be fine. I'm the only idiot. Ah, well. You all have your moments. <laughs> Hey.
My command works. Buddy. Oh, wow, good for you. We're heading out. Looks like it's working. Are we done yet? 